five, correct? Please tell me I hey just making sure I am live. Hello everyone, if I'm live, that is, I'm still not convinced that I am, because I think I closed my window too fast. Oh, never mind, I'm live. Okay. It's close to turn off my camera, because I look like complete fucking dog shit. Greyhound, ooh, new place? I'm at my mom's house right now, visiting. I'm gonna be here for a little while, so... If all my, the rest of my Batwoman season three videos have a weird, very pleasant looking background, it's because I'm at my mo mom's crib. I plan on just uh, filming all the rest of the reactions while I'm here. Anyway, thank, uh, thank you for joining me. Now, someone asked a question, just missed it. Okay, okay. Camille Cunningham, have you seen the She-Hulk trailer? Yes, I have seen that, and there will be a video on it. Trust and believe. I'm working on that right now. I already recorded it. That's done. That'll be out soon. I just have to do my hair first. Or maybe I could edit it first and then do my hair. But what, which, whichever. There's going to be a video. Uh, there's going to be a video out on that. Ugh. So, anyway. Yeah, I've been wanting to do a video or a stream on the whole Amber Heard, uh, a Johnny Depp and Amber Heard situation. I wanted to stream, like, I'm, who knows, I still might. I still might stream my reaction to the actual case because they come back on Monday. And uh, I don't know what they do on Monday exactly, but if it seems interesting enough, I might stream my reaction to it. Okay, Mr. Mr. N, $10 Super Chat, come on, Jay, are you really going to entertain this unseasoned nonsense? Uh, this case is about as redundant as both Johnny Depp's relevancy and Amber Heard's third world. Uh, yes, I am going to entertain this. This is very interesting to me. And the only reason why Johnny Depp is unrelevant, uh, irrelevant, is because of Amber Heard, so... It's not like it's on his, under his own power. But anyway... Yeah, uh, oddly enough, like most people, I think, are on, like, our team Johnny Depp in this whole thing because Amber Heard's just been sticking her foot in her mouth. And just like, she was never, she's never, she hasn't been credible from the beginning. Like, I didn't believe her when she released that video to TMZ and that shit came out. I was like, this, no, you lying. <laughs> you're, you're lying. I knew it was phony um, from jump because it, and if you even watch the video, it just, it ends at such a convenient point in the video, right? When the action is supposedly supposed to happen, it just goes out. The, the, the footage just cuts to black. And I'm like, yeah, this is strategic as hell. Like, come on. <laughs> it's fine when you're purposely editing something, but not when you're exposing a supposed years of abuse. Like bullshit, bullshit. At most, he like he's rustled some cabinets. <laughs> I'm supposed to think he's a violent abuser from that. It's like, uh, come on, come on, come on. Uh, Kefka Palazzo, oh, Jay Longbone. Have you seen the Men trailer? I laugh my ass off. Honestly, I want to. Uh, the jury's out on that because it's a it's an A24 movie. And I'm, I, I'm just torn about how to feel about this movie. I don't know. Because it's got, it, it's called Men. And all the men in the trailer are like horrifying this white chick. And like, <laughs> it seems sus, sus from Jump. But I want to reserve judgments. Because it's A24. If this was any other studio, this was any other generic studio, Warner Brothers, whatever. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, this movie's probably some fucking woke shit. But I want to see, like, it might be some nuance.
nuance to this. But if there isn't, then yeah, you you know, you know what it is. <laughs> you know what it is, and I probably will end up doing a video on it. But yeah, like for right now, I'm just like, oh, <laughs> this the one good studio we've got. <laughs> I want to wait and see. It's a wait. Oh shit, it's a wait and see situation for for me. Uh, Adam guy two thousand. Uh, Adam guy two thousand three. The movie looks horrible. Like I said, I have my thoughts about this film. And you know what? I'm going to get it out here now because I want to be the first one to predict this, if, if I'm right. I think the movie is actually not what you think it is. I, I think it's like exposing the paranoia of women when it comes to men and shit. Like, there's one of the, one of the guys in the trailer is like really awkward and he's got this like, creepy smile and it could be could just be that he's just awkward and he doesn't know how to uh, excuse me talk to people but it's being perceived it, it, especially by the audience watching the trailer like he's up to something he's crazy something's wrong that could be this could be a movie that's exposing our biases against men of against men and just awkward men in general i don't know i don't know i don't know I want to believe that's what it is. I want to believe that's what it is, but I don't. I don't know. I just don't know. Adam got two thousand three. Thanks for acknowledging my comments. Oh, too much TV spoiler. It's not that. Oh God. <laughs> I'm guessing too much TV. Either saw a review of it or, or saw it or saw it themselves. Well, what do you say? Too much TV. Did you see it already? Because if you saw it already and you know what it is. And if it's exactly what we think it is, you know, not my assessment, but if it's like what we suspect it is, just let me know right now. Uh, Mr. Taco about it, $2 super chat. I pledge to give you $20 million. Oh yeah, the jo Amber Heard joke. Thank you, Mr. N, $5 super chat. So we can agree, a, uh, A24 is men and Depp versus Heard co coalesce. Uh, like, I, I don't uh, I mean, I know you're joking, but uh, <laughs> I'm not saying it's, uh, th this shit is inspired by that. But I'm, like I said, I'm hoping that A24 is better than I think it is, and they're not falling for those little tricks that other studios uh, try to pull a TGI, oh my God. TGI, TGI is Sorry if I'm butchering that. Four, uh, 435, 499 Super Chat, no matter what, pooping the bed will always leave a stain on your reputation. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right, but let's get to it. Anyway, like, yeah, like I said, Johnny Depp, Amber Heard situation, it's very interesting, and I'm actually happy that this is being televised for everybody to see, because I saw, I knew she was a lying bitch from, from Jump. <laughs> for me, someone who edits videos, that would... And the way she was coming off in the video, like, this is very strategic. Very strategic. I would have been like, look, while Johnny's gone, like, while he's gone out of town, let's plant a whole bunch of cameras around the house <laughs> and make sure we get him fucking you, fucking me up on one of them. But she didn't do that. She just said, oh, my, my cell phone, let me put it right in front of you like a dumbass. And then, of course, like I said, the video uh, cuts out right before any actual abuse happens, which is really suspect, which is really suspect. I didn't believe her from Trump. And there was this whole thing and, you know, some lawsuits and now we're here. <laughs> it's just so much shit. Like I said, I've been watching this uh, for like, uh, not very closely, but closely enough to where I, I know what the deal is. Uh, I've been watching this for like, what, s how many years has this been going on? Six? Six years. And I never believe her ass. <laughs> Mr. N, Fidel Super Chat. Did anyone, anybody else see what happened to Velma Dinkley? Hmm. Or Velma Dinkley. <laughs> Evil Hero Diamond Cat, where are you streaming from, Jay? You have a new house? Oh, no, I'm at my mom's house right now. That's where I'm stre streaming from. Uh, T.G. Eisen for <laughs> 435, 199 Super Chat. It's pronounced... Oh, Geisen, uh, for future reference. Okay, Geisen. 
Uh, Robot Chicken, six, uh, 670, 499 Super Chat. Pretty sure in that video he found out his manager stole 650 million from him. Oh, that's, I thought that was his, I thought that was about his mother's death. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's just as bad. <laughs> in my opinion, that, that's just as bad. Someone stole 650 mil from you. Like, damn. That's just as bad as a parent, uh, as a parent's death. I'm sorry. Like either way, like yeah, he had every right to be pissed off that day. Uh, so if you're not for him, I'd be slamming more than cabinets if that happened to me. Yeah, you'd think uh, Amber Heard would have teamed up with those fools, but you know, she's not. Yeah, she she's she's cra she's cunning, but she's not smart. She knows how to take uh, advantage of a. Uh, uh, she knows how to take advantage of an opportunity, but she's not smart, as we have seen from this from this court case. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, apparently there are people who are naive enough to believe Amber Heard is innocent, that she's not lying, that she's a tried and true victim. <laughs> and uh, that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to watch a couple of videos, read a couple of articles because you know the mainstream media is gonna be dirty throughout all this. I think Amber Heard is sicking her uh, PR team, which is just one perverted guy, her PR team on Johnny Depp and like probably paying people to write articles and shit or the mainstream media is just probably just doing what it always does. Who knows? Either way, like they ain't shit. So uh, Mr. N file super chat in context, I meant does any, Anyone know Velma? Oh, as, does anyone know Velma's been ra uh, race coded or race swapped by the actor from The Office, Dark Skin Velma, y'all? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I heard about that. I did not give a single fuck. I mean, yeah, of course, race swapping is fucking ridiculous, but like, whatever, whatever, um, what's her name? Minnie Calling? Whenever she's involved in something, I just like, who gives a shit? <laughs> That's my, uh, that's my standard response to anything involving Mindy Kaling. <sniffs> Nothing. But anyway, let's get to it. Like I got, like I said, I got two videos, 120 minutes, 145 minutes. Yeah, this is going to be a while that are in support of Amber Heard. And I'm sure they provide a lot of evidence that it's, that's so convincing that it'll change the game for Amber Heard. Like we will believe, we will believe <laughs> that this woman got her ass beat <clears throat> despite all the fucking evidence uh, leaning, to, like, leaning towards the complete opposite. <laughs> I'm sure one of these people will convince us. Um, this one's by Black and White Thinking, very apt for a YouTube name. It's only got a thousand views. It's mostly got down votes, but you know, I think it's, uh, it's good to, you know, boost the, the small shitty channels. <laughs> why people don't believe Amber Heard and why I do. Oh, <laughs> oh this is going to be fun. Let's see if this is quiet off. Oh shit. <laughs> CW, oh, content warning. I thought it was trigger warning. I guess people go to content warning now to sound less cringe <laughs> or no, cringe warning. <laughs> Mentions of abuse, biphobia, and nasty little internet rodents. Okay, so I guess mo that must mean everybody because like I said, most people are on Johnny Depp's fucking side after seeing, uh, seeing this court case. In this video, I'm going to look at traits of borderline personality disorder in relation to some of Amber Heard's behaviors. What's the, what's with the rumbling? Y'all might, y'all might not be able to hear that. I don't know how good your speakers are, but my, um, I got these headphones on. They got good ba bass quality and you can just hear this rumbling like, <laughs> like what's with the melodramatic rumbling, sweetie? These are the Amber Heard, a very performing narcissist. So we're going to break down. I, I'm guessing this is a montage of all the nasty little internet rodents who dare to question uh, this white, this blonde white woman. 
How dare you? Amber Heard's up body language during her intense deposition, along with the recorded evidence, to finally reveal whether these accusations against Johnny Depp are true or false. Amber Heard has zero chances of making people believe that she is a victim. Now the tables have turned and recently Amber Heard failed big time. Not, there's other parts of her recollecting some abuse from Johnny and it's it's terribly delivered. There's way too much thinking. There's incongruencies in the it. So the first thing to understand about AA Oh, oh boy <laughs> that umbrella guy made it into her little montage. I mean, well He's the biggest, uh, well, not, I think he's probably the second biggest. I put um, incredibly average that guy up to a, a, high, a higher on the pedestal because he was, he's been, um, he's been reporting on this shit for years. And he's got all the, all, like, all those audio clips of them, of their arguments and shit like that. And uh, Amber Heard sounding like a fucking psychopath. But yeah, he's way up there though. He's been he's been covering this shit. He's been doing the work. So yeah, it's not surprising that he made it into this. But it's like, damn. Ugh, girl, how do you how do you? But you know what? Like, how do you look at their videos and be like, no, you're just wrong. You're wrong. I'm sorry, but you're wrong. <laughs> and ultimately confront is that the entirety of her defense is predicated on a lie. This and that video is going to be going over all the lies that Amber Heard has told Lass. thus far. Looking into different things from her past that show a problem. Yeah, I don't like this guy. <laughs> I don't know if there's any concrete um, reason why I don't. I just don't. Dramatic pattern of behavior. Things that you've probably never seen before. Things that uh, I hope that they're bringing up in the court. Now, onto this one. I want you to ask yourself when you're watching this one, is this- Like people, men, women, people of varying races and political views are all on the same fucking team here. And like none of this really, which, which we will get also get to because there's uh the mainstream media has a little problem with that clearly somebody doing a lip sync of amber's testimony and this is the actual amber audio or is this not the real amber audio and so amber had friends living off of johnny's dime she had her sister living off of johnny's dime who then brought in the boyfriends and the the fiancés okay i think i might skip past this because like yeah we get it you don't like rational people we know <laughs> Okay. He ain't missing with no broke. <laughs> As the outspoken, difficult women, <laughs> difficult woman of the 16th century was castigated as a witch, and the same woman in the 19th century, a hysteric, a hysteric. <laughs> I read that completely wrong. Let me do it again. <laughs> as the outspoken, difficult woman of the 16th century was castigated as a witch, and the same woman in the 19th century as a hysteric. Uh, in the late 20th, uh, in the late 20th and 21st centuries, she is described as borderline. Really? 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 This is all female discrimination, baby. That diagnosis of BPD or whatever, or every mental illness she has, that's, no, that's doctors holding this white woman hostage. <laughs> they're, tr they're putting like, they're putting like, a red A on her, like they did back in the day. Adult, like the red A to, to, to signify adulterer. It's her scarlet letter. Like that's, it's, it's not a, it's not a, it's not, it's not a valid diagnosis from a trained professional. It's just someone, it's just another form of oppression. Like get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, nice music too. Hello, my name is Mage and welcome to Black and White Thinking. Welcome to a messy half scripted video. I'm sorry, I half scripted. Oh, a very complicated situation that requires a lot of nuance and thinking and it's only half scripted. Mm. <laughs> Come on. I have a cold. 
Today's video is going to be a rant, a rant that was supposed to be a scripted essay that I started before I even published any. I don't know how you can show this picture and be like, oh, he's, what a fucking baby. He's, there's no abuse going on here. <laughs> You're just sleeping and you put, you put raspberry jam on, 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 on yourself to make it look like you were bleeding, you faggot. <laughs> Anything on this channel, I have not been able to write said video because I've been so bloody triggered about the events surrounding it. So here we are. The world is trying to kill Amber. Pushing on my neck so hard I can The herd and the Me Too movement is an egotistical farce. I need to talk about it, not because I want to learn or teach or even really have a conversation like I usually do. I just need to talk. I need to talk about how I feel. I don't want to learn or have a conversation. Isn't that? Isn't that a good sign? Isn't that, isn't that really tell, like, doesn't that tell you you're listening to someone who has a good head on their shoulders? I don't want to learn or listen. <laughs> it is half scripted. I don't want to talk to you. Fuck you. Oh God. I can't even use noise cancellation on well, through audacity. This <laughs> is a great sign. It's, it's clear indication that you're listening to a, a rational person. Bill, I need to say my piece, and I need to know my piece is- Oh, missed some super chats. Robot Chicken 670, 199 super chat. Every time they say triggered, everyone take a shot. <laughs> Mr. N, $5 super chat. This is what happens when actions have no agency. I'm a bit down with this already. <laughs> Seeing if I missed anything else. Ah. My thesis. <laughs> And Gabriel Torres, British, yeah, British. I know they're not real. I know we, we, we all come to the decision that they're not real, but we have to pretend they are for this video. Uh, gray like, and I hate uh, how these people trivialize, uh, trivialize the word triggered, yeah. Oh, like it's been ruined for years. <sighs> Excuse me, when I heard it in, in um, when I heard it in the Matrix 4 trailer, I was like, oh, why would you say that? That's not the word. Out there in the world. The violation of women is nothing new. Misogyny is the oldest oppression in the world. And no progress in gender expression can counteract the gender bias that attacks us all on the daily. In order for this rant to make sense, I'm gonna have to explain a few things. So if you happen to have been living in a cave for the past five years and don't know anything about the ongoing Six years. defamation case between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp, well, one, I wish I was you, and two, I'm not going to explain the ins and outs of it here because it doesn't matter. And I'll explain why it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the ins and outs of a thing I'm trying to invalidate doesn't matter. All right, bitch. <laughs> The ins and outs of the thing I am trying to invalidate doesn't matter. Like I said, rational, rational person, very rational. Doesn't matter in a minute. When I first set out to write this video all those years ago, my attempt was to explain the whys and hows of the that Amber Heard has suffered at the hands of Johnny Depp, but no one cares. <laughs> so here is the- <laughs> You're damn right. <laughs> This is the first true thing you have said. No one cares because it didn't happen. Let's be real. I know people are going to be like, well, he's a celebrity. He's male, drug addict. So clearly he was beating some woman's ass. But like you would be surprised how many people are on drugs and don't fucking hurt a fly. The only person they hurt is themselves. Because that's just like sometimes they, they're only interested in hurting themselves. And the whole thing with, oh, the, the violence was mutual. Look, I, I know you can't fathom <laughs> that only the guy is the victim. I know you can't fathom it, but it fucking happened. <laughs> Otherwise, this bit, like, come on. C celebrity female, white woman, let's be honest, in, in, in Hollywood, uh, that opinion is uh, prioritized way more. Uh, like, yeah, woman... Claim she's a feminist and she's in, uh, with the LGBT, and like she has like she has no evidence of anything. Fucking none. She's got none. <laughs> You'd think 
she would have something. Like Ezra Miller choking people out. We got all that. We got footage of that. And that was just off the cuff. We have footage of that. Of him randomly choking a woman when no one saw that shit coming. But she can't get any, like years and years of abuse, like five or six years of abuse. She has nothing? Come on. Come on. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm sorry of this shit. I'm Ugh. Vash Stampede, but Jay, you're triggering her with the idea that women can be abusers. It does not compute. I know, yeah, it doesn't compute with a lot of fucking people for some reason. Main uh, Amber t Amber Turd is uh, Jussie Smollett. Yeah, oh yeah, most definitely. I think she's more delusional than he is. I think he. Um, I think she's one hundred percent convinced that she was abused. Like even if like not physically, she thinks that him not wanting to be with her is like damaging enough. <laughs> Oh, kill switch engaged when she mentioned the bruise kit. Yeah, she was done after that. I mean, she she'd been done, but like that was just ugh. <laughs> Long, tall, and short of it. I'm here to discuss the hideous reaction to that abuse. I'm here to talk about the your audio is shit, by the, the way. Reaction to Amber Heard's harrowing decade of control under a dangerous Hollywood giant who is surrounded by enablers. <laughs> the too long didn't read is literally. Look. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say he's not a, uh, around enablers, but like only for his drug habit. Because what the fuck else does he do? What else does he do? He doesn't do anything. Like yeah, enabling his drug habit, his booze habit, definitely. But what else are they enabling him for? Actually, this an aging Hollywood actor with a known violent past and. A eh, pause. <laughs> aging Hollywood actor with a violent past. I looked this up because I skimmed through this video before um because I always like to make sure uh, but I always like to make sure I got prime content. I just don't like to like assume a video is shit just from a from a thumbnail. Uh, oh my God. An aging Hollywood actor with an Hang on. Because this event right here with the paparazzi thing, like when he gets arrested in London, there's a whole story uh behind that. That she does not share because she likes to use this little picture of him being arrested. Like, oh, see, he he's violent. He's very violent. Okay, he's a violent, misogynistic person because he was he was arrested. But here's the story behind it. There's a whole fucking article about it. Make sure making sure y'all see this shit. Uh, I gotta zoom in. I think. Uh, that should be good enough. Okay. Cops, uh, this is from 1999, by the way. Cops, Johnny busted for deplorable conduct, Jesus Christ. Hotel trashing hunk Johnny Depp was busted in London over the weekend after he allegedly threatened to smash photographers with a large wooden plank. <laughs> the 35-year-old heartthrob was taken into custody after he scuffled with paparazzi outside the posh Maribel restaurant Saturday night. Cops. Witnesses told police that Depp exploded in anger as several lensmen tried to snap his picture. The bad boy actor picked up a long wooden plank and began, uh, began, began sw swinging it, threatening to bash the snappers if they didn't go away, authorities said. Depp spent four hours in police custody before being released with a caution if he blew up at photographers again. He'd be thrown in the slammer overnight. None of the, none of the photographers were injured. <laughs> Cop said, none of the photographers were injured. He threatened them. And like I and and this is my this is my whole outlook on the paparazzi. They're pieces of shit. They're basically uh stalkers. Glorified fucking stalkers. The only reason they get away with it is because no one gives a shit about celebrities like that. No one cares about like, oh, they have a lot of money. They like they signed up for this shit. They signed up to be stalked. <laughs> Uh, Tabitha Pravon, $5 Super Chat. Exactly how many beds does Amber need to poop in to convince these crybabies she's unstable? What is the poop to bed ratio? Um, Athos Dumas, $14.99 uh, Super Chat. As Mahler said before, why is there pride around collecting self diagnosed disorders like Pokemon cards? 
a sentient DLDO, even if he hurt them, I'd still be on his side. Fuck the paparazzi. Yeah, they've been on my shit list since the, uh, since the, uh, the, the Princess Diana thing. As soon as that shit happened, people, you know, like, yeah, let's not treat paparazzi like people. <laughs> and plus, he just threatened him. He just threatened him. He didn't lay a fucking hand on him. He just threatened. That's what she fails to fucking mention. She just shows a picture and is like, oh, they're supposed to paint a picture of Johnny Depp being an abuser. But like, I'm sorry, threatening someone, stalking you? Not a bad thing. Mikey Gussler, $5 Super Chat. Honest question, will there be another Pirates of the Caribbean starring Johnny Depp? I want at least one more with Bloom and Knightley alongside him. From what I heard, they're legitimate. They're officially replacing him now with Margot Robbie, which is just, why? <laughs> Uh, Mr. Medicare, but Jay, but Jay, they are British. They have no soul. <sighs> but anyway, yeah, they're replacing him already. But he said he wasn't going to go back to work to work with them anyway. So, you know, that's his choice. I wouldn't want to work with their asses because they dropped him as soon as this news came out anyway. Uh, as soon as this, um... Accusation came out, so I would, yeah, I'd be like, fuck him. You ain't making no more money off of me. But anyway, let's keep Past and a cocaine habit groomed a starlet. It's happened before and it will probably happen again. He groomed her with words of how they were to be the next Bogart and Bacall and a fake southern charm that reminded her of her father, who was also an act and who had abused her mother. When she was hot and young in the beginning, he enjoyed it. He liked her being a piece on his arm. When she was leaving her longtime partner, why are you comparing this to fucking hum Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall? Before him, he loved it. However, the relationship would sour as he would, as he would grow old and ugly, and as he continued to bat well above his weight. His wife, beautiful, talented, bisexual, all things that threatened his ego. What? <laughs> Her bisexuality threatened his ego. Girl, you were projecting. <laughs> Because I bet you this chick is bisexual. Wife, beautiful, talented. Because it seems like a lot of LGBT people are like, oh, oh, he clearly doesn't like the gay. But he like to throw that shit in there because they, they're projecting themselves onto her. It has nothing to do with her being innocent. They just need someone to project themselves onto. They're like, they want to be included. Like, yay. <laughs> he continued to bat well above his weight. His wife, beautiful, talented. He bet well above, what? <laughs> this is Johnny fucking Depp. He didn't start to get ugly until he met this bitch. Uh, yeah, uh, until he started like hitting the sauce heavy, which like I said, ironically happened after he met her. Like he, even then, even then he still got it. It's like saying, um, it's like saying, let's say who, who, it's like saying Jack Nicholson ain't got it no more. Like this fucking, look at just cause he gets older. Fucking ridiculous. Oh, he's batting well above his, like, oh, the fantasies. The fantasies we tell ourselves. Johnny fucking Depp, you talking about that? What? Do I need to even, like, spell out, like, how their their careers differ? And how how much he, like, hover, he levitates over her? But, you know, it's whatever, whatever. Like, we all know, we all know, I don't have to say a word. Uh, Mikey Gussler, $5 dollars super chat. It's a shame, because there should be one... Uh, more, uh, one more with the three of them to end things nicely. I will respect his decision nonetheless, I understand. Silly Rabbit, fight all super chat, just saying hi. Hi! Kill switching gays, beautiful, talented, bisexual. <laughs> like, I love how people uh, list that shit as like a positive. <laughs> like, what does your sexuality have to do with fucking anything? It doesn't. bisexual, all things that threaten his ego. So if he was a Hollywood actor, he would beat her. He would rape her and belittle her until all that threaten- <laughs> This is- these are pictures of him raping and beating her. <laughs> Why would- is this what I'm saying? <laughs> he would rape her, beat her. And look, all pictures of him like lying on the floor, passed out. And some- for some reason she needed to document that shit. Like- 
Yeah, you should have scripted this video a little bit more because those pictures don't don't cooperate what you're saying. <laughs> so this Asian Hollywood actor, he would beat her. He would rape her and belittle her until all that threatened him was damp. He dropped ice cream. He was uh, that that ice cream leapt across the room and raped her. <laughs> when she finally <laughs> left him, lucky to have her life, he would continue to harass her through the court systems. All cases at the time of me writing this that he has brought against her, he has lost. But the world over tells a different story, no matter the actual truth, no matter the logical no matter the, actu the actual truth. But you're not going to show any of the actual truth because you, you're like the details apparently of this case do not matter. Your words. You going to prove that it's not the truth? No, you're not. Because y'all don't have the fucking truth. You know it's bullshit. Chelsea Drowen, 199 Super Chat, my dog stepped on, my dog stepped on a bee. I was gonna make um some kind of meme for that. Like Doug, like just I will be making memes, guys. I just need to really think. I'm gonna make one for Batwoman, uh, for uh to celebrate the series cancellations. And I'm still working. I already got music down for it. I'm just wondering how I'm gonna edit it. Uh Jovani the Hyena, two dollar super chat. Here's my proof. I forget. <laughs> Uh, Elizabeth Michelle, wow, Johnny passed out is so abusive. <laughs> right? Like, what? This is why you script videos, guys. Or at least this is why you back someone who's actually a victim. Because then you'll have something, then your videos will fucking make sense. Yeah, it's a saying. And of such events, all the historical precedent that we are able to reflect on. The media, the internet, friends having coffee and sticking their nose in business that is not theirs. They tell a story of a 23-year-old black widow on a mission to destroy a galleon and honor- Yeah, because the friends who are living up in her in his crib rent-free, who, who apparently saw everything, they're not fucking nosy. Horrible actor, the story of feminine poison, where our bisexual fatale protagonist hunts for a good man- What? It, no one fucking comments on her sexuality because that does not matter. Like, list one fucking person who has used her bisexuality against her. Name one! Because I haven't seen it! Because nobody gives a fuck! <laughs> Albatross, $2 Super Chat. Who's this channel? I want to downvote this video. I said it in the beginning, and I'm just going to let you find it, because if I say it again, and I direct you to the video, uh, then, of course, I'm going to have some asshole tell me, oh, you directed hate towards this channel! Like, no, she directed hate towards herself because... For one thing, her video's already massively downvoted, so. But yeah, she did this to herself because she has a very crappy opinion online. That's what happens. And I'm redirect I'm directing people to this video anyway because, you know, I'm watching it. And people are gonna express their opinion about this video. It's gonna happen. Now, I would understand if I told people to harass her, which is like, no, don't, don't do that shit. As you, can, as you can see, this bitch already fucking projecting herself onto non-victims. You know she ain't right in the head. You know she's not there. So, you know, be careful. Uh, Robot Chicken 670, uh, 1999 Super Chat. I like to point out the pic of him with the ice cream instead of putting him in the recovery position. Because he could choke on his vomit, she takes a pic of, a, a pic of him and laughs at him with her friends. Wife of the year. Oh, yeah. You think you're, a, you're, uh, because, you know, despite the beatings, you know, she said she loved him so much and cared about him so much. She cared about his addiction, but yet she didn't put the fucking camera down. Call an ambulance, uh, apparently, because he was passing out due, uh, due to the drugs or putting him in a safe position or maybe just waking his ass up and telling him to go to bed. You know what I mean? Uh, Kill Switch Engage, Jay Longbone, did you see that Amber was quoting movies? Uh, yeah, I think she, some movies she quoted and then some, like, she paraphrased. She low-key paraphrased, uh, The Talented Mr. Ripley. Some people were saying that she, uh, like, ripped it off completely, but no, she paraphrased. She, um... She, she borrowed the emotion and some of the wordplay from the scene, but she did not say, like, she didn't rip off the whole scene. You paraphrased it. 
Mr. N, a legit almost sounded like Jay Logba was about to support cancel culture. That'd be a nightmare. Like, no, she just has a shitty opinion, and we're just going to laugh at her. Like, downvoting isn't exactly, like, someone going to downvote isn't exactly canceling them. Like, uh, engagement is engagement. That would actually help her. <laughs> story of feminine poison, where our bisexual, fatal protagonist. A malicious, vindictive cunt. Uh, evil cunt, sorry. Yes. Hunts for a good man. Here's the real deal. Her obsession and with herself. swindles, okay. seduce, and ultimately destroy. She's so fucking ambitious. She's so desperate for something. Not even yes. for money, simply for fun. <clears throat> so naturally, they say she abused him, tore him down, and then accused him. No, bitch! It's because she said she cut off his goddamn finger! No, no, no. She said she hit him. She didn't admit she didn't cop to the finger thing, but she did say she hit him. She said she fucking hit him. Is that not abuse? She's there, she's on fucking video saying. Uh, yeah, I can't promise I won't blow up again, but I just get so angry. I just need to fucking hit, hit you, which is, which is textbook abuser dialogue, like textbook abuser excuses and monologuing. Like it's textbook abuser shit, but because it's coming out of a female blonde mouth, Suddenly it's like, oh, well, she probably meant, it, meant, meant something different. Like, get the fuck out of here. TG Geisen, uh, 435, super, uh, 430, 435, 499 super chat. Jesus Christ, me and numbers. But Jay, being nice is the most important detail in this case. Uh, uh, T Geisen, uh, 435, 199 super chat, bye. <laughs> Oh, being bi, <laughs> being bi, uh, well, being nice, well, that, wor that sort of works, too. Uh, petty, petty little light, $20 super chat. Did you see how uh, Mad Amber got when Camilla, uh, sorry, Camille, told her she wanted, uh, she uh, told her she wanted to be seen as a victim? No, she said she didn't like being seen as a victim. And if I was Camille, I would have been like, yeah, we know. We know you're not. I know you're not, bitch. <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't say bitch because that wouldn't have been appropriate for the, the courtroom. But I would, yeah, I'm like, yeah, we know you're not. That's why we're here today, because you're not. <laughs> uh, Teddy was, Kerlo T Teddy won Kerlobi, oh my God. Uh, AA, she ain't even that fine. I mean, she's not anymore. All that fucking plastic surgery she got. You know, you can tell she got some, her cheeks done or some shit. Something's wrong with her face. But yeah, she got offended when someone, when, when uh, Camille says, I am, when Camille, Camille accused her of being a victim, like, oh, like maybe keep your ego in check and play the role like that you're trying to play. You're trying to convince people that you were a victim of domestic violence. Maybe keep playing the role, stupid bitch, but like, you're not a good actress and you're not really good at staying on the role. So it's not really surprising. Used him of all that and worse ruining a man's career of all things. Just another casualty of the goddamn Me Too movement. But the thing is, yep. is, is that's bullshit. And everyone knows it's <laughs> bullshit. Johnny Depp isn't a- Mr. Uh, Judge, Mr. Justice Nickel. What the fuck? That the son had proved what it was in the article to be substantially true. He found 12 of the 14 alleged incidents of death- <laughs> uh, 12 of the 14 uh, alleged uh, incidents of domestic violence had occurred. But see, that's just because they thought it was coming from her, they thought it was legitimate. And now that uh, this court case has proved that it wasn't legitimate, in my opinion, you know, well, I don't know if they could like undo the verdict of a case, but whatever. But just because they were fooled does not mean that they were right. Yeah, you, oh, you mean the bitch that we all think is lying? She was able to convince someone that her lies were the truth? And what's your problem with that exactly? <laughs> what's your problem with that? Oh. And Amber Heard is a person. A human person that is not perfect, but does not deserve any of the things that society are putting her through. Right. <laughs> I, let's rewind that again. I need to hear that bullshit again. 
respect but does not be heard is a person. A human person that is not perfect but does not deserve any of the things that society are putting her through right now. <laughs> what? Amber Heard is a person. A human person. Yeah, that's redundant, by the way. Human person. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Very redundant. And she does not deserve the hatred that society, what society is put here through. What? Sure, her life was on easy mode for so long. What are you talking about? She married a rich motherfucker, got a boost. Uh, her acting career got a boost from that shit. Got a payday. Like, had all her fucking bum ass friends. Also taking advantage of his generosity. She, she, she was living on easy mode. She could have never acted again. <laughs> it, like if this abuse thing didn't happen, she could have just like quit acting and just would have been his wife for all that time. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Robot chicken, six seventy four ninety nine. super chat judges. Son works for the newspaper. Hmm. 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 I'm sure that had nothing to do with it. Albatross, five dollars super chat. She's a human person, but she chose to be evil. There's no excuse for that, exactly. Uh, Jalmarito? Jalmarito? Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm butchering that. Johnny is not a human. Meh. <laughs> yeah, only only white women are human. <laughs> only white women are human. You know, apparently, according to other white women. <laughs> and this is a story that happens over and over and over again to women of all Footage I recorded back in November 2021. You've been, oh, what? Let me rewind that. But like, you've been recording this shit. You recorded this shit back in 2021. You've just been holding on to it. Like, get over this chick. Like, oh, I think you just like her, like her. You've got some kind of crush on her. Because I don't, I don't understand this this obsession. A story right now, and this is a story that happens over and over and over again to women of all kinds, but especially bisexual women. What? <laughs> so bisexual women get accused of domestic violence all the time, or do they lie about domestic violence all the time? What are you trying to say? This happens to bisexual women all the fucking time. We need to march in the streets. In the name of bisexual women, like, please don't speak from a bisexual. Like, please. They are already dealing with a lot in their own fucking community with the LGBT. Like, they don't need you dragging them down with that bullshit and associating with them with Amber Heard. Shelby MD, $5 Super Chat. Thanks for streaming on my birthday. By the way, did you get the Sneakerella, did the Sneakerella, Sneaker Cinderella movie ever come out? Also, you gonna check it, check it out, my guy. Already checked it out. I filmed a reaction with me and the guys, uh, you know, uh, Burst, Jack, and Carl, and that's gonna be coming out one of these days. Like, it's just like nonstop talking. <laughs> we miss so much shit, so much cringe. I think I have to watch it again and write my own jokes for like edits because we were just missing shit because we were so busy talking over this garbage film. But anyway, let's let's get off that. Let's get back home. Free Britney, but not if she posts nudes. Believe women, but not Free Britney, but not if she posts nudes. Believe free Britney, but not if she posts nudes. Like you know those are people who are, have not been on the free Britney train, right? Making those criticisms. And plus they're not really good nudes. They're not like, it makes, yeah, it makes her look like she's a little unstable. Like they're, cause they're not good. <laughs> it looks like an unstable woman posting nudes. Like, unfortunately. Not saying she needs to be under conservatorship. Uh, but like, yeah, you can't pretend like that's not a, like a red flag. The saying. Believe women, but not that all Amber Heard. Me too. Be believe women. For one thing, uh, this shit is gonna dismantle that believe women bullshit. Like nobody's contradicting themselves here. 
believe like like the assumption is the believe women thing is the correct way to think and it isn't that's kind of the problem <laughs> that's how we got here in the first place because we wanted to believe all women and we've been ignoring this motherfucker getting his ass whooped for years and like there's so many videos that have been posted over the years of him looking miserable like visibly fucking miserable i'm not talking about like um first like oh you're just reading into too much shit like he where he genuinely he genuinely looks miserable like i like i don't know like he's in an abusive relationship <laughs> but anyway what about men too Hollywood story right now, another Hollywood star coming forward with a Me Too story. This time, actor Brendan Fraser, of course, he's the star of the Mummy series, George in the Jungle. Eva Pilgrim here with his story. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, guys. Brendan Fraser, George. Brendan Fraser, Terry Crews, literally all Spacey's victims. Men have always been part of the movement. No, but see, those are acceptable because they were abused by other men. And why would you, like, they were abused for other men. Like, they were abused by other men, and that's the only reason why, they, why you, that's valid for you. Because as long as men look like look like abusers, as long as they're the ones who look like the aggressors, that's cool with you. You don't want them to look like victims. You don't want them to be actual victims. They have to be the right victim for you to be on board with it. You ain't fucking slick. Well, they've all well, they've always been opposed to the Me Too movement. Fuck off. Yeah, and guess what? All of these motherfuckers have in common that they were all victimized by men. Like, get the fuck out of here. Thomas Fitton, two dollars super chat, bro. This is Brit Wong also. <laughs> Cool, you got a Streamlabs. Well, I've always had it. It's just, I rarely ever bust it out. But it's like, bitch, like, stop. Like, stop, stop, stop. With the bullshit. You only value male victims as long as they, are, they were, uh, uh, as long as they were abused by other men. It's kind of the same thing with black on black crime. Like, no one gives a shit if a black person dies if it's by another black person. Nobody really gives a shit. But if it's by a white person, like, oh, then we give a damn. <laughs> then we give, because then we can use that as legislature, uh, at, like push uh, anti-gun legislature. That, that we can use that to our advantage. Because as we all know, uh, gun control was always like a racist, uh, it was always a racist policy. So if they use a, a bunch of Negroes kill, killing each other for gun control, you don't want people to go back to that. You don't want people's mindset to go back to, oh, like, so, so you're just, oh, so you're just gonna push gun control because you don't want Negroes to have guns. That's what it is. They don't want their minds to go back to that. They don't want us to associate racism with gun control. And plus, they, for some reason, they just value white killers over anything, over anything else. That's what gives validity to a story, as long as the aggressor fits the narrative. As long as like, uh, you know, the story has a nice face on it. Uh, anyway, T, T Geisen, T Geisen, 435, 4.99 Super Chat. As a bi person, I don't want to be associated with Amber Turd. Yeah, cause, and no one brings up her sexuality at all. So I don't even know what the fuck this chick's talking about. Princess Smiley Face is a Texan. I can say Texas doesn't like her either. Yeah, plus she's from Austin anyway. And fr from what I've heard, or was it Dallas? Dallas or Austin? It's one of those fucking places. The one of those uh, Texas cities that are actually really liberal and then te like that Texas doesn't even co-sign because it's just, it doesn't, uh, it's not, um, it's not cool like the rest of Texas. I forgot which one. It was either at Austin or Dallas. I forgot. Someone will correct me in the, in the chat. Uh, Taylor Evans, 199 Super Chat. I don't know how to change money, but happy streaming. Thank you. Uh, Princess Smiley Face. She's from Austin, so it figures. Okay, okay. Joining the Me Too movement, opening up about allegedly being sexual. It's something that took him almost 15 years to talk about. What planet do I live on where feminism is dead? This is not acceptable. And I will not be complicit in it because that is what it is. I will not be complicit in it. <laughs> Fucking British people kill me with their accents. Like not all British people. Like you just like if I talk, I'm talking to a British person who's like unlikable. I, I can't promise that I won't mock them. <laughs> I will not be complicit. In it. <laughs> Fucking pronounce the words. 
<laughs> you teabag! Anyway, um, I'm guessing this is Tug's, uh, channel. Is it? About. That Tug channel? Kind of I like? think it is. Ah! Damn it, let me go back. Yep, that's Tug's channel. Do I live on where feminism is dead? This is not acceptable, and I will not be complicit in it, because that is what it is. It is complicity. The way that people- Complicity? Are treating Amber Heard- Complicity? Is that the word? Hold on, is that a word? Because <laughs> I don't think that's a word. Is complicity a word? Okay, it is. It is. Because that didn't sound right to me. Ugh, we're almost at 700 watchers, by the way. Come on in, people. Come on in. Right now is the absolute definition of rape culture. You are either a misogynist. <laughs> rape culture. All right, like, look, I would ask this shit. Really, do you believe for a second that a woman gets raped with a liquor bottle, and apparently that where it caused damage and she's bleeding, but she doesn't feel a thing? Like, does that make us make fucking sense to you? Does that make any sense to you? And if you say yeah, I swear, or well, all people are different. Uh, um, uh, 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 <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Rape culture. I, it's, that's crazy. If she gets raped with a liquor bottle, doesn't feel shit. Because remember, Amber Heard will not be character characterized as a villain. Um, like she she gets raped with a liquor bottle, doesn't feel the shit. Doesn't even fucking notice, just goes back to fucking work like it's nothing. Or goes back to doing whatever like it's nothing. Like, as if that makes sense. I want to ask her, just like, does that make sense to you? Does a woman get raped with a liquor bottle and completely not noticing? Does that make sense? And if it does, I'm sorry, you're fucking delusional. You're, you're delusional. Women, we know when our pH level is off. You tell me we don't know when there's glass in our cooch? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Get the fuck out my face with that bullshit uh thomas finn five dollars super chat bro all them videos are by the umbrella guy gotta get that bag mate would you be surprised if she tried to sue tug after this trial uh post gay ops you know what i wouldn't be surprised but i don't know i think that would be going too far for her because that would look suspicious like why are you trying to shut why are you trying to attack a man uh why are you trying to attack a man with a sick child? Because he does like he's got a sick child, just a guy trying to make a buck and uh, trying to get this story out that he's invested in, and her picking on him. The, like it's different when she goes like when she is squaring off with Johnny Depp, because then she can look like the little church mouse and the little victim. But her going after a guy just living his life and just a mild mannered YouTuber with a sick child, talking about this, like that's not gonna, that's not a good look. It's not a good look in, in general, but it's definitely not a good look. It's bad optics. Uh, Wolfhorn, and, and plus she has a whole PR team behind her, and so they would they would definitely advise her not to do that. Wolfhorn, eight pound ninety nine super chat. As a Scot, I respect Brit the Britain jokes and banter. Also, hi Jay, and this is mental torture. I know, I know. <laughs> Little lady, a when our pH is off. <laughs> When our fucking pH is off, we know when our period's coming. We're like, you tell me we don't know, we don't know when there's glass in our cooch. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Hates women so much, you don't need the high courts or empirical facts because you will always believe him. Or you are a self hating Manson fangirl who has a getting. Kink, or perhaps you're just what? The so this bitch is has is, is gone. Always believe him, or you are a self hating Manson fangirl. Really, <laughs> what you're a you're a serial kill, killing hump, you're a serial killer humping fangirl, you're a handmaiden, you're a whore. <laughs> really, bitch, who has a getting kink or perhaps you're just simply an internet hop on the type of person who simply believes what they read and see on tiktok and snapchat too 
or maybe believe what we've seen in the fucking court. <laughs> All the evidence that she has not come up with this whole time. Maybe we believe. Maybe we believe what the court what what the court is showing us, like what the court case is showing us, and it's showing us that she ain't got a leg to stand on. We're looking at the facts. Why do you think this was televised in the first place? We're looking at the facts, and we are seeing that she's full of shit, and that's why we don't believe her. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, if you had made this video like six years ago. People probably wouldn't wouldn't have, I wouldn't probably wouldn't have gone at you that hard. But now after after all this shit, you still believe this? Because keep in mind, this video came out in May on May 15th of this year. <laughs> this year. And you still believe this? Like what? Like, holy shit. Taylor Evans, 499 Super Chat. Cheers. Uh, still at the beginning of your stream. Forgot it was on. Welcome. Uh, let's see. Some stuff. Thomas Fenton, $5 Super Chat. Yes. Uh, I mean, yes, optics, but couldn't she use her bag to bury Tug with another wave of propaganda sim similar to the way they buried MJ despite the internet? I mean, she could do it on the sly with her, uh, with, uh, what's, what's his name? I mean, no, actually, she already tried to do that. Her PR team already tried to do that. And like I said, we will get to that. Like, you know, there's been several, there's been articles, uh, basically criticizing YouTubers for daring to have substantial growth from covering this topic. Like, God forbid when people put the work in or the investment in, they get something, they get, uh, they get a healthy return from that. God for fucking bid. You see the mainstream media, they just want to be like, oh, uh, white woman victim, white woman victim, white woman victim, and just, and just expect immediate obedience and, uh, and uh, immediate obedience and clicks and likes from that. But no, people are on Johnny Depp's side, People are being more informed from alternative media and they don't like that shit. So of course they're going to go along with whatever uh, Amber's PR team is cooking up. Striker X 24, $2 super chat. Where's the pirate movie you had Mauler and Rags watch? The pirate movie? I think, I'm guessing you mean a 365 days movie? That'll be coming out soon too. I got that recorded. I just got have to edit it. There's like there's a lot of stuff I got um coming down the pike. G uh, Gary Thomas, White Owl Super Chat. Speaking of Marilyn Manson, the accusations against him are starting to look suspect as well. It wouldn't surprise me if Amber Heard was working with that other, that other bitch. <laughs> it would surprise me because aren't they? Not, I don't think they're friends, but I think it's really weird that. Marilyn Manson and Johnny Depp are both associated with each other. And both of them are being dragged through the coals, like not at the same time really, but like this stuff is mounting near, like around the same time. Yulgen, 499 Super Chat, please watch uh, Kiera Br Bros? Browse, I don't know. Shorts on this, U on, on this on YouTube, if you haven't, she pretty much makes Johnny abuse, Johnny's abuse about herself. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Thomas Fenton, two dollars super chat. Ever thought of going on Flashcast with Yellow Flash? Eh, one of these days, you know. I guess. Um, I'm just. I I never have any fucking time to go and just hang randomly hang out with people that I like on YouTube because I'm always I'm like I'm always working on, it. or I'm always moving around doing something. It depends. Stupid to be malicious, or maybe you are complicit in the creation of this. Maybe you're part. This bitch, you're too. You're probably too stupid to be malicious. <laughs> oh. Of the hetero patriarchal media fucking. <laughs> Wait. Creation of. Too stupid to be malicious. Or maybe you are complicit in the creation of this. Maybe you're part of the hetero patriarchal media fucking. <laughs> the hetero patriarchal. <laughs> You will, for, like, you're never gonna live this video, video down. 
And what happens if they, they rule in favor of Johnny Depp? You're going to look even more stupid. And what if something happens within the next few days, like come, this coming Monday after that, that just busts your shit wide open? I mean, you already look dumb. And we already know that Johnny Depp is innocent of what he's being accused of. But it's like, what if something happens that's even more damning? Like, you're going to look so dumb. <laughs> Oh, you got like even like it's going oof. Ah, and I hate that's the thing. I don't like it when people are humi- humiliate themselves. It's ugh. I want everyone to just be happy and, and you know, do their be be their best selves. But you know, like if um I get a chance to roast you, like I'm gonna roast you. Part of the help. It's all part of the help. A Mikey Gussler fight out of Super Chat. The FBI raided Marilyn Manson's house and found nothing that would be held against him, so his accusations are su- suspicious. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, not important. What is the hetero- heteropatriarchy? These people love making up terms. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I have no idea. Like, I think it's the... The concept of being a functioning human being. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, it's a joke, but you know. Uh, the Geisen, uh, the Geisen, for, T. Geisen, uh, 435, uh, 499 Super Chat. I found it weird how Manson gets accused when things start turning around for depth. Mr. N, final super chat. Well, the judicial, the judicial, oh my God, the judicial system isn't exactly a sin from God. Remember what happened to Vic, uh, Vic Mino, Minogna, Minog. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't pronounce his last name, but yeah, I know that who that guy is. And yeah, yeah, um, I suspect, like, yeah, I hope Johnny Depp wins, but I, I am also prepared for him not to. I'm also prepared for him not to because, you know, like, like, like I said, judicial system's dirty. They might, uh, but uh, like, there's so much bullshit on Amber's. It's like, it's like she has fucked herself so royally. I don't, I don't understand how they couldn't rule in his favor. Filipino white boy, $2 super chat. Has anyone seen the Ace Attorney parody of this? I think I took a peek at it. Mignon. Mignona. Mignona. Okay. Okay, okay. Mr. Mike corrected me. It's Mignona. John Smith like, it's pronounced Manana. <laughs> I, I believe Min... I'm going to go with Mignona. 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 Zed, uh, 50... Zzzk. Hi, J. Logbone. As always, sending love from Europe. Let me tell you, those Wanda stands as bad as Raylo stands. Maybe some NOC segment inspiration. I mean, eh, I want to come out with a review for that Doctor Strange movie first before I do anything like that. Or maybe like use it as a preamble for the review. Because like, you know, strategy, strategy. Um, And I would have to like really look them up first because I haven't really been seeing like, um, like on the level of Raylo, I haven't really seen anything that bad from them. Like I said, I would have to, yeah, I'd have to look it up system that created this problem in the first place gave us men like johnny depp it it the it flame flames yeah the heteronormative oh yeah you mean uh when his mo- mother abused him technically that's not really a heteronormative uh patriarchy because the mother was the abuser not his father so that w- isn't really for falling in line with the heteronormative patriarchy. That's the heteronormative matriarchy. Checkmate, bitch. <laughs> Checkmate, bitch. Flames on the side of my face. Breathing breath. Wolfhorn, one pound and 79. It's Madonna. I'm getting feisty because I give a shit. And I give a shit because I- I'm getting feisty because I give a shit. Okay. I'm a bisexual woman. I'm a bisexual woman. I knew it. Did I, didn't I call it? Because it ain't none but some fucking projecting. It's, it's just, not, it's that bullshit where it's like, oh, I identify with this person. Even though I don't know this person, 
even though um, I haven't really looked into the case because I, I, I don't believe she has. I don't believe for a fucking second that she looked into this and took it seriously. I just don't. There's no way in hell you did. Be, oh, well, the details are not important. Bullshit. <laughs> they are definitely important. What the fuck are you talking about? What are we talking about here? Anyway. Breath, heaving breaths. I'm, not, I'm getting. It's just one woman projecting herself on another one because she likes the victimhood. If I can't be a victim in life, if I can't get sympathy from people in life, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crib off of some other bitch who's not even a victim, by the way. <laughs> She's bisexual and I'm bisexual. It's so hard to find a bisexual victim that I can project myself onto. I lucked out so much. I'm feisty, but I'm getting feisty because I give a shit. And I give a shit because I am a bisexual woman. I'm a bisexual woman with BPD. <laughs> Amber Heard has been pathologized as having- BPD. Oh, and she's a bisexual woman with P BPD. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Shallot, I'm a bisexual woman of color. <laughs> color. <laughs> I'm so, I'm sorry to any English people. Um, in, in my chat, but this, this, this chick is not a good representation for y'all. Uh, Filipino white boy, $2 super chat. I can't wait to see your review of Sneakerella. Oh Jesus. That was so draining. <laughs> uh, lol idiot. Oh, she has BPD. I ain't done listening to her. <laughs> uh, Kefka Palazzo time to use uh, mental illness for penny points. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, bite deity or deity? Bite out super chat. Uh, important term so far. Human person, bisexual woman, bisexual protagonist. Uh, heterosexual patriarch. Uh, patri uh, patriarchal media. Did I miss any? Robot chicken six seventy one ninety nine super chat. No wonder she sounds crazy. Like no offense to any BPD people. Zayn. <laughs> is it? Why is it everyone? that I meet with BPD is like fucking like out of their goddamn mind. <laughs> I'm a bisexual. Like, no offense. I know they're all, all not all like that. I'm just saying. I'm a bisexual woman with BPD. Amber Heard has been pathologized as having BPD on the stand by someone unqualified to give that diagnosis who is friends with- Did it? Wasn't it her fucking doctor who diagnosed her with BPD? Wasn't it an actual psychiatrist? Women's correspondent. Yeah, they're unbiased. Debunk psychological diagnosis of Amber Heard must be discounted. Prominent psychologist warns. Prominent psychologist, uh, whoever. I'm sorry, whenever the media says that they're they're referring to someone who's a prominent psychologist, I, I immediately disregard that shit. Cause it's like, yeah, you got someone with a fucking TikTok account who says they're a doctor. <laughs> Mr. N2 Dollar Super Chat, time to bury your gaze. Lol, it, it, it was a clinical psychologist. Uh, num, num, <laughs> num, me, num, oh my God. I'm just calling you nom nom, but no, it was uh, someone uh, paid to see if she had PTSD. Uh, but, uh, alien, well, two psychiatrists said that. Oh, snakes. I thought Amber had histronic personality disorder. She also, that's one of the other things she has. She has BPD and that. Uh, One-Eyed Monster, what is BPD? Bed poo disease. <laughs> that's the first time I heard that one. That's pretty good. Ethan, one, two, three, P. These feminists clearly hate Queen Dr. Curry, who is the best part of the trial. Uh, Yvonne, 
or e sorry, Yvonne Solomon, unqual unqualified, yet the psychologist that Turd's team presented didn't even do the PTSD testing correctly. They left a whole section of the questions blank. Okay. Oh, shit, my internet, it's in the red. What happened? I'm buffering, but why? Oh, seems I'm buffering. Hang on a sec. What happened? Are we back? What's going on, Internet? What's up? Okay, everyone says we're fine now, but like it's still red. Amy Dante, Okami, the Amber Simps are coming. <laughs> Zombie squeaks, you offended the bisexual CIA agent <laughs> watching you, that's why. Okay, I think we're fine. Yeah, it seems like we're good. We're just gonna get on with it. Let's go. Apologized as having BPD on the stand by someone unqualified to give that diagnosis who is friends with Johnny Depp. I have survived abuse. I was a Johnny Uh, I'm pretty sure that psychiatrist or psychologist, sorry, was, uh... Johnny Depp psychologist, right? Pretty sure it wasn't just some friend, some some drinking buddy. He was like, oh, yes, you have PTSD and histrionic personality disorder. Johnny Depp stan. I still use a Hotmail account that has the phrase Captain Jack in it. I've had it since the first movie came out. It was my first email address. Johnny mm -hmm. Depp is guilty, not only of abusing Amber Heard, but of the nastiest media propaganda campaign of this century. People- uh, Oh yeah, he made people- yeah, yeah, it's a propaganda thing because he came with facts and she didn't, which made people side with him. Apparently that's a propaganda ploy. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> hey guys, if I say the grass is green, like if if I'm in court trying to prove the grass is green against someone who says grass is red, and I come with all the facts, all like I come with pictures of actual green grass, I come with studies that say that that talk about chlorophyll and all that shit. If I come to you with that, that and I convince people of that, effectively, that means I am. Throw, I'm throwing a smear, like a propaganda smear campaign at you. <laughs> that, that's what that means. Oh, we're back in the red again. Don't you dare fuck with me. Anyway. People will not be happy until Amber Heard is dead. They want her- What? <laughs> Rewind. People will not be happy until Amber Heard is dead. Right. <laughs> Bruh, what are you talking about? They will not be happy till Abba Heard is dead. <laughs> Girl, get a life, touch grass, all the other, uh, yeah, all the other euphemisms, all, all the other sayings. Get your life, girl. <laughs> Oh, uh, Fujisaur. Why do you hate, why do you hate red grass? Why am I buffering again? Oh, and cause I think we're fine. We want her to kill herself. She is Medusa to them. What? Amber Heard is dead. They want her to kill herself. 
she is. They want her to kill herself. Okay. For one thing, she's too up her own ass to kill herself. No one wants to go. No one has been fucking messaging her like you should just kill yourself. I'm, well, no, so there probably it probably is. There's always that one asshole who likes to just tweet at people, just oh, just kill yourself. Why would you just kill yourself? <laughs> There's always that person. But yeah, no. Okay, I think we should be back now. I think we should be back back now, guys. We back, baby. Okay, apparently my internet is not, well, my mother's internet is not as fast as ours at home, which is unfortunate. My mother has the bum internet. <laughs> and hang on, let's get back to this. Yeah, my bit, my bit rate was up a little bit too high. That's what it was. I had to lower it a little bit. Um, there we go. But yeah, we're back. We're doing things. Uh, Joey Joe Star graduated today. Congratulations! Get that diploma, niggle. Uh, Mister N, five dollars super chat, name dropping. Uh, ponder sprocket. Why? Because the Octomama dapples in debunking commentaries that make you crap your pants and she makes art. <laughs> uh, Joey Joe Starfight, I'll super chat. Hey, Miss Longbone, just got off work and just hopped on your stream. Are we talking about Miss Ebertur today? Yes, we are. That turdy hoe. <laughs> it stopped. What the fuck? We're in the red again. Why? Not tell oh yeah, we're in the fucking red again. It's buffering again. And it could be bad weather. Okay, we should be back up again. Ashley, Jay Longbone, the only streamer with no internet. My internet was fine when I got it uh, set up, uh, our new internet set up at home. Now I'm at my mom's crib. The thing is, she has good internet, so this should be fine. We were doing fine for a while until the internet was just like, for no reason. Like, my, like, like I said, my mother's internet, not as good as ours at home, but it's still good internet. So I'm like, so I'm wondering why the hell this keeps happening. I lowered my bit rate again. We'll see what happens. If it does it again, I swear to fucking God, it's, it's happening deliberately. Uh, Funeral Man 04, a 1999 Super Chat. Seems like the turd bots are coming for you. Yeah, you never know. Uh, Gam, uh, Gam Bam 07, the weather is okay right now in Chicago. Well, I'm not in Chicago. I am in, well, I'm not going to say where I'm at, but I am not in Chicago right now. <laughs> anyway, let's get to it before we have any more problems. Is Medusa to them. Amber Heard is the vessel for an onslaught of cultural misogyny that people have been waiting to release since people like Weinstein were jailed and the Wait, 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 pause it. Wait, that's because that's Tug's tweet. What he said. Because people want Amber Heard to kill herself. They want her dead. They want her, um, you know, they just, oh, they want her repressed. And I want to see what Tug could have possibly tweeted to provoke this. What if I, I were to tell you I had exclusive proof that Johnny Depp was not only abused, but Amber Heard stole the story and made it her own? Hmm. I, all right, like, oh yeah, and by the way, Amber Heard stole one of her friend's uh, abuse stories for her, like, to pepper up her abuse story, her false abuse story, uh, by the way. 
So yeah, that's, there's that. We always we forget about that little thing. Someone literally coming out and saying they were hurt by the fact that she stole her story, but no one gives a fuck about that. Release. Since people like Weinstein were jailed and the end of House of Cards was ruined, people have been waiting for a poster girl for misandry since the moment it became mildly frowned upon by the media to be a racist. Proof doesn't matter. Frowned it's upon. only mildly frowned upon to be a rapist. Okay, okay, team. Like your fucking brain is nothing but teen crime. By the media to be a rapist. Proof doesn't matter. Truth doesn't matter. I could sit here. Wait, what's her truth? Where's the proof? Where is any of it? You got one blurry ass video of him fucking rustling cabinets. <laughs> and that's supposed to be proof of something. She has not provided proof of anything. Oh, he put a knee in my back and I was all bruised up. Meanwhile, she's wearing a backless fucking dress the, the exact same day. No bruises. You like, pe like people don't understand. Like people who are get like people who get abused always wear things to cover up uh, the abuse. Like she would have made sure she wore a dress that covered up her back. So people wouldn't know she was getting abused. Because not only is it sh like uh, they, they have a lot of shame about it, is that they secretly don't want their, uh, you know, their abuser to get in trouble. But no, 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 that, that's not a thing. And also, like, Johnny Depp co controlled what she wore, didn't like that she dressed sexy, yet she always dressed sexy when she was, so there's that too. There's yeah, so I many inconsistencies. Why and how Johnny Depp is an abuser? There is tons of evidence. There are tons of witnesses. There are video. What is this supposed to prove? What's this proof? It doesn't prove anything. There's so much evidence against Johnny Depp that he's an abuser and uh, Joe Rogan talking about him positively is evidence. That's why your video sucks, sweetie. Recordings, audio recordings, photographs. Amber Heard has presented more evidence for her abuse than I've ever seen any other victim present. But are you fucking retarded? <laughs> mm. You gotta be like a complete idiot. Robot Chicken 670, 499 Super Chat. Proof doesn't matter. Truth doesn't matter. She says that she makes a whole video without either. Hypocrite! But nobody cares about evidence because we. Uh, what a monster looks like. Uh, how I grew up thinking bad people look like. How bad people actually look like. <laughs> Heard has presented more evidence for her abuse than I've ever seen any other victim present. But oh my god, Sia went in. I didn't know about this. Well, hold on, Sia. Also, Elon Musk, did you give her the seven million she donated from her se settlement? She still uh, came out seven million richer. Why are you protecting her? She will never get the help she needs if we stay silent. Just showing my public support for Johnny Depp. I mean, I'd love him to get clean and stop with the jewelry, but he's clearly the victim after hearing all those tapes. Damn, she don't give a fuck. But then again, uh, she did make that movie music, so that's that's very clear indication that she does not give a fuck. <laughs> Nobody cares about evidence because when you are so deluded by your own hate, when it has rendered you idiotic, you <laughs> you're so blinded by hate that it's rendered you idiotic. Girl, were you looking in the mirror when you said that? <laughs> May as well be in a cult. And this is what a happened. A cult? Really? <laughs> Grass is green, gang. Grass is green squad, rise up! <laughs> Grass, is green, Grass is green cult, rise up. Oh, God. <laughs> With othering. And the othering of bisexual women is getting us killed. The othering of bisexual women. Show me where people do that. Jody Arias, or Arias, whatever, was also diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. Uh, Dr. Curry says BPD patients can be caring. I love how this tweet fucking references that this person, the person who diagnosed her or whatever, was a doctor and she doesn't pick. So funny. 
stupid. Patients can be caring when their needs are met. However, if they don't feel their needs are not, if they don't feel their needs are not, or if they feel their needs are not being completely met, they can lash out. People want Amber to be an abuser, even though evidence says she isn't, because they want all women to be. The evidence says she isn't. What evidence, bitch? Show me the evidence that says she's not. People want Amber to be an abuser, even though evidence says she isn't, because they want all women to be abused. Hang on, hang on, because she's she's just zipping past Amber these tweets, abuser, even which I think is the best because it makes her. They all make her no look stupid. Says she all I'm saying is that Amber Heard is an abusive spouse and a former lesbian. <laughs> I think that was supposed to be a joke, but you know, whatever. Isn't because they want all women to be abused. The attached Amber Heard bio is interesting. Did Amber Heard tell Johnny Depp she was bisexual before he married her? Good question. They don't want to face the truth. She could be using her sexuality as a... Uh... Or it could be like the like her sexuality is just like a part of her grift. You know what I mean? She just adapts to whoever the fuck she's with. She might not even be genuinely bisexual. I mean, I know I'm talking about her sexuality now, but that, hey, she bringing it up. So now, you know, I got to bring it up. Now that I think about it, it's like, yeah, is she using her as some kind of thing? Like, yeah, she just adapts to her environment and like, oh, I'm with a chick now because I want, because this chick I know can get me to, can open some doors for me. And she'll just do whatever. Like, yeah, she'll go down. Like, how? Like, she can go on, go down on a chick. You're crazy enough. You can surpass your fucking, your God-given sexuality. Like, yeah, okay. I want to get somewhere. And I'm nuts. So I can, you know, I can, I can lick a labia, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. I can lick a clit, whatever. The reality we fucking live in. That the biggest threat. Wow. Hang on. I want to face the truth. Of Imagine posting this unironically. Domestic abuse is a gendered crime. And imagine wanting people to take you seriously after saying some shit like that. Every case of demand. So you can't see it because she's got this fucking filter over it, which it, it, it completely, it almost completely whites out the fucking text. Every case of domestic abuse should be taken seriously and each individual given access to support they need. All victims should be able to access appropriate support while both whilst both men and women may experience incidents of interpersonal violence and abuse women are considerably more likely to experience all right but like it's not a gendered fucking crime if both can suffer from it i don't give a damn how low the number the, uh, blah, blah, blah. i don't give a damn how low the numbers are it's not a gendered crime if both can suffer from it and plus one gender is conditioned to think that they cannot report it because they are a man. So of course their numbers of reported uh, cases of domestic violence are going to be very low because they're not just not fucking reporting it, but you know, whatever. The reality we fucking live in, that the biggest threat to women is male violence. <laughs> That which is <laughs> the biggest threat to women is male violence. Internet. And that too, which is sung like a war cry by. So basically, Amber Heard is selling the truth because uh, men abuse women more than women abuse men. I don't know. I like to be proven wrong, but this is exactly what I thought this video would be. <laughs> Society. This is life and death because violent men and those complicit in their behavior made it so. Some people are so scared of being told that they hate men that they refuse to. Oh, hold on a second. Let's go. Let's uh, let's look at that. Look at that infographic. I mean, that graphic, that infograph, whatever the fuck you. Rates of female intimate partner related um, homicide per 100,000 female population. Uh, 1.2 per female population. Seems like Africa outweighs all these, like even... <laughs> Europe! Like, Amer the um, America outweighs Europe. Oceania, wherever the fuck that is, outweighs both of them. But, like, Africa outweighs everybody. <laughs> hmm. I wonder where the rape culture and the abuse of women culture could possibly be. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder which country or continent or whatever is just starting to catch up. 
is to acknowledge the facts that men are a danger to themselves, they're a danger to women. Cis women, trans women, black women. Men are a danger to themselves and they're a danger to women. Like, yeah, of course, I'm sure you're sure your BPD and your victim complex isn't talking and your past abuse isn't coloring your judgment at all. I'm sure you don't need any psych, any uh, psych, uh, psychiatric help. Right, women. Gay women, straight women, bi women. That is the issue here. This is misogyny at its core. <laughs> this is misogyny. Holding women accountable is misogyny. <laughs> Psychopath, liberal, Amber Heard is the bisexual. Get that. That's also probably a joke. I don't even know what the hell this means. I don't even know the context. It's core and at its worst. And Amber Heard should be kicked out of Hollywood. Deb should stop with the drugs. Maybe go for a walk. Dead, help someone. Go marry a bisexual. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, all right, but it's like, what flag is that? I wish I, well, that's probably, you know what, that's probably a Ukrainian flag. But, um, okay, biphobia, okay. But like, so? There are like a few people out there who prioritize her fucking sexuality. And I, how much you wanna bet? Most of these hoes are probably lesbians who don't like bisexual women. It's just a hunch though. It's just a hunch I have. But that's usually like this, like the loudest bitches are, are like talking about and judging bisexual women are usually lesbians. Well, yeah, okay. Some, some people are talking shit about her being bisexual. Who gives a shit? She still was not abused. That doesn't mean anything. The facts still uh, support Johnny Depp's story, not hers. So who, so who the fuck cares? This is dangerous. When I first started writing this video, I had such big plans. I was going to talk all about Sylvia Plath. I was going to talk. <laughs> of course you were. I don't know why it's funny. I was going to talk about Syl Sylvia Plath. Of course you were, you emo bitch. My beautiful. I need people to see the window into my dark soul to understand how women suffer in this country. Talk about Lucretia and Magilla from ancient history. Lucretia, Lucretia, Boquitia. <laughs> I was going to talk about Amy Winehouse and Whitney Houston, Tina Turner. Why? Why? Their stories do not fucking, like, how fucking dare you compare Amber Heard to Whitney and Tina? Are you fucking out of your mind? Well, we know you're out of your mind. But like, I'm just saying it for flavor. Uh, uh, but, but are you out of your fucking mind? Are you out of your mind? I don't know how accurate what's love got to do with it is. It's probably, it's probably really accurate. I don't know. But you watch that movie and you see how Tina reacted to the abuse. And how she was uh, put down and how she, like, it, like, once again, like, she would cover up the bruises and shit, but, like, she still wore shades around because she couldn't cover them up that well. Because, like I said, you can't cover up, like, people will, can still tell that you got the fuck beaten out of you. Evil Hero Diamond Cat, $2 Super Chat, what's wrong with Sylvia Plath? Nothing. It's just, like, it's so, like, oh, of course this girl's gonna start talking about fucking poetry. <laughs> and emotionally manipulate people. <laughs> of course she is. But yeah, keep Tina and Whitney's name out your mouth. Like, really. Don't you dare. Britney Spears and Lindsay Lohan. Britney Spears, stop. All these women have suffered way more than Amber Heard. Sorry. I was going to talk about Kesha, about Evan Rachel Wood. Kesha, I hate, can't stand her name. Because everyone wants to say Keisha. They can't because she, she, for some reason, she spells it Kesha. Kesha about Evan Rachel Wood and FK. Oh, don't even give me, no. Oh, that's a little bit of a funky situation. We don't know about, we don't even know the validity of Evan Rachel Wood's situation. Saying that. And I was going to talk about Kesha, about Evan Rachel Wood and FK Twigs. But like I said, it doesn't matter. Hang on. Lesbian petrol head who apparently decided she was bi for the right price. 
scared, but I knew she wasn't what she professes to be. No wonder she hates men. Da, da, da. Possibility. Possibility. Like I said, I said this earlier, like she could use her sexuality very fluidly, like depending on the opportunity. You don't know. She could. But no one's discriminating against her because she's bisexual. People are like saying that she probably isn't. That she's probably faking it. Or clout. And probably to manipulate people into a relationship. We don't, like, bisexual people don't want her anywhere near them. <laughs> I am the wizard who knocks. Five dollars super chat. Oh, it's a little doggy. Who says, oh God, I think uh, it says number one, I think. My eyes aren't that good. Mysterious capitalist facts are the tools. <laughs> facts are the tools that are heteropatriarchy. <laughs> hmm. Charlie Brewster, no Rihanna mention? Wow. I mean, she's a little too black for her to, you know, <laughs> feel any sympathy for her. Oh, wait, well, no, she did have Whitney and T. Never mind. Matter. People don't want. It's typical borderline personality disorder, narcissistic tendency, and probably bipolar 2. Um, Amber Heard should go down in history as a case study on all these mental illnesses and how men and women should identify these traits and other, others should stay the hell away from them. Okay. Is there a problem with that? They don't want reality. I'm so scared as a bi to finally date another woman because of shit like this as a victim of my mom. I know how vile we can be and knowing how high the DV percentage, uh, case percentages is in one, uh, women loving women relationships. Just say lesbian relationships. Goddamn. <laughs> Seeing all the lesbians here backing up Amber Heard. Uh, okay, I would consider that a valid criticism and a valid fear. Like, who are you to say it isn't? Like, motherfucker, I'm just saying. They, they want a witch to burn. There is no such thing as a perfect victim. In fact, more women should punch their... Oh, uh, there's no such thing as a... Like, no one said that. We're saying she's not a victim in any capacity at all. That's the, that's the problem. It's not because she's not perfect. Johnny Depp ain't perfect either. How do you think she's able to spin this? Because she's, she uses his... Addictions against him. He ain't a perfect victim either. We're saying that she's not a victim at all. <laughs> ain't nobody like that's that is to let like that's like uh to even like to even entertain the fact that she is a victim. But we're not entertaining that. We're entertaining the fact that she isn't one. That's the thing. Like, I mean, what are you talking about? Victim. In fact, more women should punch their abusers because the only- No shit! Like, duh! That's a huge duh moment right there! Women should start defending themselves against their abusers. Like, no shit. Really? That's a banger. I never would have known that unless you said it. <laughs> the only perfect victim is a dead victim. The only I perfect think... victim is a dead victim. Like, no. She, we're not entertaining the fact that she's a victim because she's not a victim. And she even said she wasn't. She said she wasn't. When someone shout, when, so, when uh, Camille, that lawyer, said, yeah, you're a victim of domestic violence. And she's like, no, I am not a victim. Like, she literally said she wasn't. So I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. you basically disrespecting Queen Amber by saying that she's a victim. <laughs> this man up rather just not talk about him based on his own politics but also just based on the troop of bullshit that follows him online but you know that time that trump said that he could stand in the middle of new york and shoot someone and he'd still be president yeah that's happening right now with johnny Depp. yeah when did he say that <laughs> that's happening right now with johnny Depp. johnny Depp's running for president what you talking about what are you talking about let me rewind that of new york and shoot someone and he'd line but you know that time that Trump said that he could stand in the middle of New York and shoot someone and he'd still be president? Yeah, that's happening right now with Johnny Depp. And I Johnny Depp is running for president. Mark my words. He will be on the 2024 ballot. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, bitch? I don't mean that Johnny Depp could be 
news, Amber heard in public, and nobody would believe her. I mean, he actually is abusing her right now. Abusing women through the courses. Girl, shut up. Shut up! You don't even validate, like I said, male victims until they're abused by other men. You even blatantly, you blatantly fucking say it. Men are, okay, men are abused by women, okay, but, but men are their, like, you basically say men are their own worst enemy. They abuse themselves and women. Men are a threat to, mo actually only women, but they also victimize men too. Like, you gave them, a, you threw them a little bit of a bone. I, oh, you're not even charitable to the concept of ma a man being a victim of a woman, like, so why, like, I'm, how am I supposed to take all this other bullshit you say seriously? Systems is a global problem that has been studied many times and people still don't believe her. People are seeing it with their own eyes and telling her she's a liar. Oh, wait, wait, was I right? Let's rewind that. I speculated. People may need reminding that Evan Rachel Wood is friends with Amber Heard and Amber hates Marilyn Manson. Maybe there's no connection, but I don't trust anyone who was friends with Amber Heard. Fire. In the UK, four times as many women as men are killed by a current or former partner. In the UK, you should have blurred out killed, idiot. Between the years of 2013 and 2014, 93% of defendants in domestic violence court cases were male, and 84% of victims were female. In 2009 to 2000. And what does this prove? This does not prove Johnny Depp's gu guilt. <clears throat> you see, men abuse women a lot. That means Johnny Depp is guilty. <laughs> that is so. That is such a fucking brain dead take. That is a brain dead take if I ever heard one. Get the get the fuck out of here. 2010 in the UK, women were the victims of 73% of- And also these are statistics from the UK, not America. Domestic violence. As we saw from that infograph, that the, the fuck numbers vary from, uh, like, depending on what country it is. We saw Africa, we saw how fucking high those numbers were. Don't tell, like, don't, don't give me numbers from, like, Africa and say it. Their domestic, uh, domestic violence numbers are basically on par with America's. Like, don't use that to, to be indicative of what's going on everywhere because it's not the same, even the same social climate. Motherfuckers. Incident. In 81% of those incidents, the offender was male. Women in the UK are four times as likely to experience the most serious and potentially lethal violence than men, such as threats, assaults with a gun or knife, choking and sexual assault. Three times more likely to report suffering a physical injury and twice as likely to report chronic ongoing assaults defined as more than 10 separate incidents. In America, one in five women is raped in their lifetime. One in 71. Oh, we're still going with these debunked numbers, huh? We're still using those, huh? <laughs> anything that supports my, anything that supports my narrative. Men are raped in their lifetime. In the US, 72% of all murder suicides involve an intimate partner. 94% of the victims of these murder suicides are women. The World Health Organization indicates that globally, about one in three women would have been subjected to either physical or sexual intimate partner violence in their lifetime. Most of this violence is intimate partner violence, according to The Who. Worldwide, almost a third of women aged 15 to 49 who have been in a relationship report that they have been subjected to some sort of abuse. Globally, according to The Who, as many as... Yeah, you're just going on and on about nothing. It has nothing to do with anything. Fast forward. Sure women have been or will be raped in their lifetime. Wait a minute. Sexual violence by any perpetrator, the lifetime prevalence of rape by any perpetrator was for women. Lesbian 13%, bisexual 46%, heterosexual 17% for men. Gay numbers too small to estimate. I love it. numbers too small. Gay numbers too small to estimate. I don't know. I don't, for some reason, I want to cap that. That's funny. Gay. Two number, numbers too small to estimate. Bisexual numbers too small to estimate. Heterosexual point uh, oh seven. Okay, wait a minute. So what are you saying? I thought you said men abuse men. 
So you're telling me that they don't now? Like, your statistics aren't matching the bullshit that comes out of your mouth, so... Evil Hero Diamond Cat, this video is so funny, just a giant rabbit hole. I agree. I think we're gonna get to see a, a much worse video in a second, though. But, um... Yeah. So you're saying bisexual men and gay men don't abuse each other. But you said men abuse each other all the time, so which is it? Yeah. in their lifetime which is higher than both straight or lesbian women reminder that amber heard is bisexual. This completely di just completely disregarding a uh, uh, gay and bisexual male but like i said that's just the ongoing like she's gonna she disregards any abuse of that happens to a man like so it's not really it's very on brand for this channel and two of the 12 incidents that were proven true by the high courts of the united kingdom related to her bisexuality the same survey found that 75% of bi women within the United States reported having experienced sexual violence, compared to 46% of lesbian women and 43% of heterosexual women. It found that almost half of bisexual women, bisexual- I love how she just completely skips over like half, nearly half of lesbian women have reported being in domestic, domestic violence uh, situations. Doesn't like, it doesn't compute with her at all. That women can also be abusers to other women. That women can like, well, that women can also be abusers. Period. Like, but that doesn't compute with her. She just goes towards the bisexual shit. Like, see, bi women, are uh, um, they are abused. <laughs> Grapple R five dollars super chat. This is the gender equivalent of posting bogus FBI crime statistics about black people in order to slander them. Yep. <laughs> or abuse, like completely just goes right over the lip like half of lesbians reported like i'm not like i don't want to give these any validity because they're probably bullshit statistics she doesn't even cite where they're from but i'm just going going i'm going um i'm going uh by her by her lead i'm going with her on this you went right past like women can't be abusers they don't abuse um but 46%, nearly half of the lesbian population has reported uh, domestic violence. Uh, eh? How's that possible? They're not around men. <laughs> How is that possible? You teabag? All girls were raped between the ages of 11 and 17. The CDC also found that at least 61% of bi women would report being raped, physically abused, or stalked by an intimate partner. The and we'll just assume that they're men. <laughs> Because, yeah, that's also another thing. She doesn't really specify that these are, that they're in a uh, bisexual, that they're, like, they're bisexual, but they're in relationships with men. They, she just says, oh, bisexual women uh, get abused all the time. But, yeah, okay, but by who? By who? They didn't specify the gender? Same survey also found that in contrast to lesbian and heterosexual women, bisexual women reported higher levels of severe violence like being choked. You'd or... think heterosexuals would report higher, have a higher instances of violence because it's always men and women. But bisexuals is even higher. I wonder why. <laughs> Gary Thomas, why I super chat on a different note, uh, gay men have the lowest rate of DV in the Western hemisphere. It's not, that's not surprising to be honest. <laughs> I wonder why the bisexual DV, I'm, like I said, I'm not really giving this her statistics validity, like I because I don't know how valid they are, but I'm going by her lead, I'm going by her lead. I'm following her, like I'm, like I'm just saying. She doesn't, like you'd think the numbers of heterosexual DV would be higher, much higher bisexuals. And the bisexual um, DV would probably be lower because it's like they're most like half the time where there were women. So half the time it would be like smooth sailing because women are just so docile and nonviolent and not abusers, according to this bitch. Slammed into something. And in addition to that physical violence, bi women are more likely to experience psychological aggression, including coercive control and expressive aggression. Even if you don't want to believe Amber Heard, the logical explanation, the logical end to this story, even if you hate her, is that she's right. What does the science <laughs> tell us? Does it actually even if you don't like her, even if you hate her, even if you, even if you 
exhausted all the evidence that she did not present in court and all the flimsy evidence she did, she's still right. Tell us that white women are liars. I just identify with someone based on their sexuality and how hot I think they are. I don't really like look into courts, proceedings, because it doesn't matter. I just believe what I want to believe at the end of the day, because I was abu probably abused by somebody at some point, and I'm probably nuttier than squirrel shit. <laughs> and whores? Or does it tell us we are unfortunately society's perpetual fucking victim because i spend my life researching this stuff and i'm telling you it doesn't look good for any of us any woman at all at this point and unless we start giving a shit ourselves nothing is going to change and our daughters and their daughters and their daughters will be born into the same bullshit you have to take a stand on this there is no being neutral there is only being complicit and this is my stand i stand with amber her i believe Johnny. <laughs> is an abuse I have read the Judiciary Report maybe seven times all the way through. It's like 130 pages. I'll link it below. You can read it yourself. Anyone who is reading it. I'm not going to show anything from it because it probably contradicts everything I was just saying. Or I'm going to twist it in a way that makes me sound fucking insane. <laughs> With compassion in their heart and their logic turned on, we'll see this for what it is. A witch hunt. My, our compassion turned on and our logic. Uh, bitch. That seems to really, those things can't, when it comes to you, those things cancel each other out. You can't be compassionate and logical at the same time. Other people can, uh, but you can't. <laughs> John Smith, five dollars super chat in before 100k subs, keep it up. I keep losing subs every time I fucking either post on Twitter or stream, which is very odd. And it's not even like a couple, like one or two subs. It's usually like 20 or 30 <laughs> at a time. This out of nowhere. So I'm thinking probably something behind the scenes is happening. I don't know. I don't think I'm that fucking unlikable. <laughs> Where I'm just randomly, every time I stream, fucking 30 subs gone. Out of nowhere. Well, actually, it's, actually, it's, it's usually more when I stream. It might be a lot now because I, I was already like down 30. I was at like ni uh, 98, 98,070. And now I'm down at like 98,023. So now that I'm streaming, those subs are probably gonna go down a lot more again. And I'll probably be back to 97K. Yeah, I'm trying not to sweat it, but you know, I think like I said, I think something might be going on behind the scenes. I don't know. They probably tagged me as someone with bad opinions. So they just like, well, they just unload a bunch of subs. Because a lot of people say they, they, like, they just unsub a bunch of people for me. Because some people have come to me and said that they have been unsubbed from my channel out of nowhere. It ha I got some, there's some validity in what I'm saying. Well, why didn't you fight them off? Why didn't you run? A why lot of people you? are also stupid. That would be my response. And just a side note. Run, a lot of people. Because a lot of people say, well, it turned on. We'll see this for what it is. A witch hunt. Because a lot of people say, well, why didn't you fight him off. Why didn't you run? A lot Why of people are also stupid. That would be my response. And just a side note, I mentioned this before. I, again, really don't want to go into details of the case. I'm just going to say how I feel about it. But Amber Heard was apologized. Uh, uh, what? This is JD, the year AH was born. The nonce. What? <laughs> now she's calling the motherfucker a pedophile. Like, she did, yeah, this bitch is just crazy. She got an axe to grind. That is some bullshit. I'm capping that. I'm capping that and I'm posting it on Twitter. Hang on a second. She, this motherfucker is calling her, it's calling him a pedophile now. When he started dating her, she, what, she was like, what, she's like 22 or some shit? What the fuck? Oh my God. Uh, yeah, she's just nuts. She's nuts. She needs a shrink. I bet money she does not leave her house for anything. But hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tweet this right quick and we can get back to it.
okay. <laughs> all right, all right. You know, diagnosed apparently by a non board certified psychiatrist that was friends with Johnny Depp. And this woman diagnosed her as having BPD and HPD, borderline personality disorder, and histrionic. I could have swore she was uh, diagnosed um, before she met Johnny or some shit like that. But either way, like, uh, she wasn't qualified. Uh, where's the proof of that? Like, you don't provide pr proof of anything personality disorder, which are essentially the same thing. No doctor uses histrionic personality disorder as a diagnosis anymore. Doctors bear. Oh, they don't? Barely even so if I look it up right now, <laughs> you're not going to look stupid, right? <laughs> Nobody uses that as an as a diagnosis anymore. Histronic. Personality disorder. Also go H P fuck. Uh mental health condition that affects the way things perceived and genes play a role in the development of Treatment can help this condition, but it cannot be cured, it requires a medical diagnosis, implying that yes, they still do diagnose this shit. Uh, lab tests or imaging not required. Chronic last year. Symptoms requi requires a medical diagnosis. Chronic personality disorder. Tension. Opinions is easily influenced. Has rapidly changing emotions and thinks relationships are closer than they are. Nobody diagnoses this shit anymore. And here's a post from April 29th from the Cleveland Clinic. Seems to me like they still diagnose this shit. Or yeah, she's, hold on. Let me type in, do they still do doctors? Oh, God. Okay, doctors diagnose hist histrionic personality disorder based on... <laughs> okay, this is from August 28, 2020. HPD is one of 10 personality disorders recognized in the fifth edition of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Health Disorders, the DSM-5. HPD is one of the cluster B disorders, which are characterized as dramatic, overly emotional, and or erratic. So this is still diagnosed by doctors. So she's just talking out of her ass just then. She's a liar, but that's not really a, a surprise. Taylor Evans, 499 Super Chat. What's your predictions on the trial's conclusion? I think we still have a week left of testimonies. I wanted him to win, but I don't know. I've, I've seen screw jobs before. So he might not, but I want him to win. I, I, I like, I don't like. It's, I'm like, there's two ideas clashing. Like wanting him to win and thinking he will win based on all this evidence that's presented. Robot Chicken six seventy four ninety nine super chat. Just took a psych counseling course last semester, and we're still ta taught about this disorder, meaning people still get diagnosed with it. Thank you, person in chat. Oh, well, not person in chat, but like Robot Chicken six seventy. Thank you. Uh, Keith Cogain is life. 699 Super Chat. Every time this chick says bye, I immediately think of that uh, in sync song. Yeah, but I figured this shit was still um, diagnosed. Like, she's such a fucking liar. Let me rewind that one more time. Is histrionic personality disorder as a diagnosis anymore? Doctors barely even like to use histrionic personality disorder, which are essentially the same thing. No doctor uses histrionic personality disorder as a diagnosis anymore. Doctors barely even like using borderline. Both are. Uh, you're such a fucking liar. 
That's such a lot. People don't diagnose things anymore anyway, so. <laughs> are overdiagnosed in women, usually women with serious trauma. It's overdiagnosed in women. Would you think that autism is overdiagnosed in boys? Even though I think that is true. No, no, no. You know what? It's HD, it's H, uh, not HD, HD. Um, like hyperactivity disorder, that's overdiagnosed in boys. But uh, would you say that autism is overdiagnosed in boys? No, you wouldn't. Like some people are just more predisposed or some, some groups are just more predisposed to certain things. Like black people are more, more likely to get uh, sickle cell anemia and they're more likely to be, they're more likely to be um, uh, lactose intolerant. Like these are, these are true things. Sometimes that's just is the way it is. It's not a fucking conspiracy. <laughs> The, this is overdiagnosed in women. Look like, at the fuck out of here. Oh. Robot Chicken 670 Super Chat. I have phys a physical copy of the DSM 5, and it's still there. It's still in there, by the way. And both diagnoses have been used as weapons against women since the dawn of time. Histrionic comes from the word hysteria. Hysteria, like hysterectomy, as in uterus. What? As in Latin. <laughs> what the fuck? Hysteria, as in hysterectomy. Bitch, what are you doing? What are you saying right now? Women, since the dawn of time, histrionic comes from the word hysteria. Hysteria, like hysterectomy, as in uterus. <laughs> Yeah, this is nuts. This is fucking nuts. Now I, I see why you got so many downvotes and why you only got a thousand views. What the fuck? <laughs> you see, histrionic disorder, that's like hysteria. Hysteria, like hysterectomy. Hysterectomy of a uterus, bitch. <laughs> what is this fucking shit? What is this fucking show? God. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. As in Latin for uterus. I have borderline personality disorder, joy, a diagnosis I thought would help me, but has just ended up making me feel more shit about myself. My point being, if Amber does have BPD, who fucking cares? People with BPD are humans. I don't know if Amber has BPD. And so what? That does play into why she's such a fucking basket case, whether you like to believe it or not. You see a lot of people with BPD as soon as, as soon as this shit came out, getting fucking defensive. Like, no one's talking about you. <laughs> nobody's talking about you. You got your shit under control and you're not another Amber Heard? Fine. But nobody's talking about you, bitch. <laughs> and whether you like to believe it or not, sometimes uh, certain disorders can come in, uh, in, can tell people why, this, why this, that person is acting the way they are. Like, come on. Okay, she's got BPD, and like not everyone with BPD uh, is nuts. Like, okay, we get it, but like she might be completely untreated, not taking it seriously, like not taking the shit seriously, um, and just do doesn't take medication and all that shit. Just because you're well put together doesn't mean everyone else with this fucking disorder is. And it's kind of like, like, um, I'm usually don't like come out and say this shit, but it's very elitist to fucking think that, oh, well, everyone with a disorder is completely well, well adjusted and takes their medication. And no, they don't. A lot of, some of them don't. And Amber Heard is probably fucking one of those people. Uh, Johanna Fuelborn, 199 Super Chat. These feminists should not support her at all. Yeah, really. They knew it was good for them. And I mean, that is a threat. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if you knew what, what was good for your um, movement, you wouldn't, like, no, don't, don't co-sign for her. I, Bob, final super chat, I've seen more coherent essays from Lily Orchard, Stephen Universe rants. Oh, Kai Fujimoto, how did this go from the Amber is a victim in the trial to whatever this lady's talking about? Well, <sighs> He's probably a basket case too, to be honest. I don't trust any of the psychiatrists that are on that stand. But I saw a lot of people jumping to Amber's defense with the whole, well, she doesn't, this woman isn't qualified, which 
is true, like I said. But again, I have BPD and any abuse that happens to me is still just as important as the abuse that would happen to someone neurotypical. This like, is yeah, just you're, from an emotion. I mean, yeah, you're just identifying with someone because they have the same genitals and 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 disorder as you. That's all it is. You don't, yeah, exactly. You don't care about facts. You don't care about the court, the case, or what has been said, or any evidence. You care about does this person's identity match up with mine? Because that's the only way you're going to get any support from me. Around where perhaps I've worn my heart on my sleeve too much, but this matters to me. It's all I've worn my heart on my sleeve too much. Yeah, it's, think. It's the first thing I think about when I wake up, and it's the last thing I think about when I go to bed. I cry. For Probably because you need a shrink. <laughs> and the hurt. But more importantly, cry for the fucking rest of us who don't have the money or time to run the fuck away when this is all over. For the rest of us, this is going to leave a permanent mark that I don't think women are going to get over. Bisexual. <laughs> women, we're not going to be able to just get over. Like, you know, most women are on Johnny Depp's side, right? <laughs> Oh, uh, women, we're not going to get over it. Like, don't, like, don't put me in your bullshit. I don't think women are going to get over bisexual, crazy women, especially for a really long time. The damage is done. Johnny Depp didn't just ruin Amber. He ruined it for us all. And we are going to be doing- <laughs> He ruined it for us all! <laughs> Johnny Depp didn't just ruin, ruin Amber. He ruined me. He ruined everyone. God damn him for getting abused by that beautiful angel. <laughs> With the consequences of this for decades. And I'm just so fucking sad. My name is Mae. I'm just so fucking sad. This has been black and white thinking. Yeah. Your name. Great. Your name is so accurate. Black and white thinking. Perfect. You nailed it. Hey, hang on a sec. This quick. We're at 536, well, 541 viewers. That's pretty good because before we were at 600 and some, when we were near, nearly at 700. And then it dropped because the fucking connection dropped. But that's still pretty decent though. Beasts once roamed in this world, as big as mountains. Yet all that's left of them is bone and amber. Time undoes even the mightiest of creatures. Hey, what is the hell is this? Yeah, you know, video over. You just playing a fucking clip in its entirety. Who gives a shit? Let's go to the next video, shall we? Now this one is called True Crime in the Theater of Safety. Now, don't be fooled. The title is very the title doesn't uh, tell you exactly what the what the video is about, uh, but it's about Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. It's almost like she didn't want people coming to her video and being like, yeah, you're an idiot. <laughs> and of course, she cited a bunch of fucking articles about this shit. Oh, I think she's going to go on the same type of dumbass rant as the last chick. Bisexual women are villainized. Women who are not who are neurotypical. Or a neuro, sorry, neurodivergent. She's gonna go all, she's gonna touch all those fucking points. Oogly boogly, 7.99 super chat. Bye women, won't be able to get over this. Mia, bye woman. Wow, got over it. <laughs> Yulgin, 4.99 super chat. What does she mean by who cares? What does she mean? Who cares? VPD is clearly an explanation for some of Amber's exaggerated behaviors towards John. True. Zippy, 9.99 super chat. I hate when people use mental health as a crutch. <clears throat> especially since I work so hard to cope with mine every day. It's not a get, a get out of jail free card. It's a way to explain behavior and improve. But yeah, like I said, this next video, uh, true crime in the theater of safety. And also uh, another thing I noticed, this video doesn't have that many downvotes. It's got mostly upvotes, but I think after today that might change. <laughs> Uh, like she, what she what she says has to be valid if she mostly has upvotes, right? Because everyone who has a lot of upvotes on YouTube is always right. Oh, but there's this comment from she got a comment from Lindsay Ellis, <laughs> a supportive comment from Lindsay Ellis, which should tell you everything you need to know. Like she hasn't. Does she ever have a good take? 
I don't know if anyone can see that. I think I might. Hold on. Trying to zoom in. Come on. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I think you guys should be able to see that now. Yep. Lindsay Ellis left a comment on this video. Saying so much here is oh my god. Fuck! What the hell happened? Okay, wait, I need to back up. I think I zoomed in too much. And it fucked with. Oh, okay, there we go. Damn it. Anyway. Anyway, Lindsay Ellis said so much here is that is important and necessary that most people are justifiably too scared to say, but with regard to never coming forward about your own trauma and the people who've hurt you, truer words never spoken. It's never worth it, even if you have support at the outset. Regardless of the truthfulness of your story, it'll always be... It'll always be... Oh, okay. I guess she ended it dramatically. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, let's zoom back out. You don't want to go blind from that. Uh, but yeah, let's start this shit after the page gets its shit together. Bitch. Oh, no. Now, okay, now we got trigger warning. A real trigger warning this time. Discussion of rape, sexual assault, violence, DV, murder. Murder? Who murdered? Like, I know we're not trying to say to Johnny that murdered somebody. <laughs> well, this was a video I never really wanted to make. I believe- Bullshit. And stop saying that, YouTubers. This is a 45 fucking minute video. Oh, I didn't want to make this. You know, the potential of uh, several mid-rolls. <laughs> and getting support from the other butter churns that had subscribed to me. I didn't want to make this. Get, get, get fucked. I can't say that when people say that shit. You definitely wanted to make this. Meister or Meester? 499 Super Chat, they are absolutely scrub. They absolutely scrub their comment section. Every comment on there supports them. Literally any turd supporter turn, turns their comments off. Amber Heard. Let me start there. My belief I really wanted okay. to make. I believe Amber Heard. Let me start there. My belief in her is not because she's a woman. It is bullshit. <laughs> and you want to know how I know that's bullshit? Well, number one, because Lindsay Ellis watches you. There's no way you're not a feminist due to that. <laughs> but look at, the, but yeah, here's another clue. This is your channel, nerd. This is how you describe yourself, nerd, feminist. <laughs> nerd and feminist. Basically, that's all I need to say. That's all I need to say. I'm not supporting her because she's a woman, even though I'm a feminist, and we all know that, we ha uh, that they have biases up the ass. Because she has brought proof to show her case. What fucking proof? What is this magical ass proof? that these people are talking about. What, where is this proof coming from? I wanna know, enlighten me. The realities of what domestic violence victims deal with are corroborated by her actions. Post separation, she has not brought up Johnny Depp by name. She has tried to move- No, yeah, except for the op-ed. Except for that shit. <laughs> she, well, she hasn't brought him up by name, but she still brought him up though, so even after she got paid. Didn't turn him into the cops. Didn't get, uh, didn't get any examinations from doctors to at least document the abuse. So later on, she can get his ass. Uh, she didn't. She just has not done anything. Like jack shit. And all of the witnesses to her abuse is all fucking hearsay bullshit because they were not there. They were told what happened to her. What all she had, what him like slurred over, like with some fucking ice cream in his hand. That, what, what evidence is that? 
move on with her life while using her platform to address something that was very true to her reality after she keep in mind the aclu helped her write that op-ed and on top of that they told her not to mention johnny depp in order to avoid a lawsuit now if they actually gave a fuck about bringing abusers to justice why not just fucking name him anyway because if you have concrete abuse, concrete evidence that abuse happened, that um, that um, the potential to be sued should be like, like null and void. You a fucking woman in Hollywood, how in the hell can you not <laughs> get back at him for that? Like how how could like how would someone how could someone get over on you if you have evidence? That makes sense. Gary Thomas, five dollars super chat. Oh my god, I used to watch her when I was young. Then I realized she was insane. So then I unsubscribed. Believe it or not, she used to be normal. <laughs> Chekhov's antlers, five dollars super chat. Hey Jay, you literally ne never failed to make me laugh. Thanks for doing what you do. Love you. Thank you. Made allegations of domestic violence, allegations that were not disputed during the first settlement between the couple. Instead of Johnny Depp moving on, getting help, separating himself from this person who he now alleges is an abuser, he keeps dragging her back. Uh, would you say, would would you fucking say that about Tina Turner, who went to uh, who went to court to sue Ike? When they, when they got divorced, oh, why don't you just get away from them? Oh my God, are you obsessed with them? <laughs> so moving on with your fucking life? We're in court right now, really? I thought you were scared. I thought you were a victim. You got your ass beat, right? <laughs> you wouldn't fucking say that about a woman uh, taking her abuser to fucking court to get her get what's due. You wouldn't fucking say that, but it's because it's him. Because he has a dick. Suddenly it's like, oh, why don't you just move on with your fucking life? You got your ass beat. It's over. <laughs> to court, keeps dragging her and this trauma back into the spotlight. And people are making- Yeah, his trauma, not her trauma. What the fuck traumatized her? And also she rarely ever blinks and she always has her eyes wide open, which already tells me, that, yeah, that of course, like wide-eyed psychos, are the only people who support Emma Heard excuses for him and backing him in what is very clearly a legal abuse tactic. This is not a video <laughs> I've ever wanted to make on the public record. People just find, people just find phrases and words and uh, new words that they haven't learned before and just run it into the fucking ground to, in order to sound smart. The last person said, it's, it's, it's a, tr it's an occult abuse tactic. Like motherfucker, like stop. Stop, like, is like, oh, what's that fucking, what's that line from Oliver and Company? What the fuck was it? Like, isn't it rather dangerous to use up one's entire vocabulary in a single sentence? Like, that's basically what this is. That's what feminist, like, what feminist SJWs and pseudo intellectuals online do all the time. They just use up their fucking vocabulary that they learned yesterday. <laughs> so hard to just cover this in writing because of the level of harassment that comes from people who are supporting Depp online, whether they are bots or not, which is one of the theories going around. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't take away the fear and frustration. And oh, I I'm being harassed by people who support Depp. For one thing, they don't need to harass you because they're right. <laughs> the only people I've seen harassing anybody are the Amber stands. But you know, whatever. I like to say things that aren't true and the disgust that is going around. However, as this case has progressed, as the testimony has gotten more violent and more triggering, the real thing that has been making me feel sick and disgusted are the people who are using the trial for TikTok memes and for content in the middle <laughs> pathway. Wait a minute. Wait, go back, go back. I think she said the magic word. Using the trial for TikTok memes and for content in the most capitalistic sense of the word. I know this is- <laughs> Capitalism. I don't believe in capitalism. I'm a YouTuber with a check mark. I don't believe in capitalism. I don't get paid for my videos, even though I probably do. <laughs> it's so capitalistic. I don't have a Patreon or anything. I don't have a Patreon on my channel right now that I link to. 
See if my see if my fucking browser wasn't so slow, this would be a slam dunk. Oh, but wait, I do have a fucking Patreon. <laughs> so capitalistic. You pro y'all probably can't see that. Okay, yeah, y'all can't see that, but she has a Patreon. Let's go to it because y'all couldn't see it. Oh, and oh, the cringe, the cringe. Oh. The cringe membership levels. One, Laurel, Laurel Lance Defense Squad, $1 per month. Easy access to videos, Discord access, movie night access. Uh, Bonnie Bennett Coven, $2, $2 a month. In addition to first tier benefits, access to Princess Watch's articles. Really? Uh, five articles per month at minimum. Wow, that's mid. Abby, Abby Mills, Secret Service, $5 a month. Get access to one extra video a month, name and credits, weekly. You got $5 to get your name in the credits. That's bullshit. Oh, I put everyone's name in the credits no matter how much they pledge because it's just, what, like, why, why does that cost money? <laughs> why does, should that cost people money? Well, whatever. Weekly behind the scenes extras in the form of updates on longer projects. And she has a thousand patrons. We're gonna talk about capitalistic? Really? <laughs> really? And this bitch wants all, it's, it's capitalistic in the clearest sense of the fucking word. <laughs> Molly J, she can make money, but no one else can. Yeah, that's basically, um, that's basically the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the keyboard, uh, communist, uh, agenda. Like no one, oh, only I can make money off of bullshit. No one else. So she's got 1,000. 58 patrons. Now let's say 1,158 patrons all pledge $1 a month. Which of course will be $1,158 a month. But let's say like, let's say they all donate about $5. $5, oh shit, $5 per month. Five dollars times one thousand fifty-eight patrons. That's five thousand fifty-two. Wait, basically nearly uh fifty-three hundred dollars a month if all of her patrons donated five dollars. So I'm guessing let's let's say a rough estimate of what she like a rough guesstimate of what she actually makes on Patreon. Patreon could be either twenty-five hundred. Between 2,500 and 3,500, maybe. That's a, that's a rough, it's rough, a rough guesstimate. So anyway, yeah, capitalistic, whatever. <laughs> so full of fucking shit. It's getting played out in public due to Depp positioning the trial very much in a way that it would be public. That's why he filed for this in Virginia because he would have the highest freedom of speech laws and therefore it'd be televised and everything. Evil hero down here. Jay, why are you so bad at math? I don't know. I understand how that was bad math. Bash Dan Peach. He likely makes eighteen hundred a month. Oh snakes! I doubt she makes that much. Those people don't support these people. True. True. She's like pandering to bums. So, eh. I guess it makes sense. Tyler Caster, why are you covering your face, Jay? It's just something I do out of comfort. I have no idea why. It's like a compulsion. Whatever. Let's get back to it. Thing. This is the public theater he wanted and has orchestrated. I expect people to get wrapped up in that. I think that's very much human nature. This, is the, pub this is the public theater he wanted. Uh, yeah, it's not because he wanted people to see that she's a blatant fucking liar. And they want he wanted people to see how dangerous she is and how foolish she is. No, it's just, she, he wants theater. He just wants to feel special. <laughs> we are not great historically about understanding the nuances of trial. We are a mob rule society and we suck. However, what is extra jarring is the way every- <laughs> I'm saying we all suck as a nation. I'm so down to earth. Everyone's open biases have come into covering the testimony in the news when it comes to how they target their content and the ways in which- Oh, really? Because you don't have any fucking biases, right? You as a feminist, 
I'm, who I'm sure uh, uh, identifies as an intersectional feminist, I'm sure you have no biases whatsoever. You can possibly be biased against Johnny Depp because you are a female and you are a feminist and you feel like that it, it that you need support to support Amber Heard for your own personal gain. And you have and you have morons to pander to. Eh, it's got nothing to do with it. People are turning it. You don't have any biases when we are talking about people. Also, who the fuck cares if people make TikToks off this shit? So where the fuck were you when people were making memes off Epstein? When people were making memes off Cosby and Weinstein, and when people make memes about other horrific shit, where the fuck are you then? Are you fucking shocked? Like I, I love like the shock that people make memes and TikToks off of a popular subject. The the fucking all like, what? We're better than this as a society. <laughs> discussing domestic abuse in a defamation trial. And I think regardless of if you believe Johnny Depp or if you believe that Amber Heard is an abuser, you should really second guess people who are making jokes about it. No, no, I, I shouldn't. You're making jokes? The only reason why you give a shit is because you think Amber's an abuser. Like if you, if you, if this was about Johnny having a little dick, or whatever, people were making like little TikToks about Johnny Depp having a small penis or whatever. You would be on board with that shit. You would not be fucking talking this shit. Isn't happy hour anytime. <clears throat> I would actually buy one of these. <laughs> Don't be an Amber, just for Johnny, just for Johnny, a mega pint. <laughs> See, I'm not a drinker, so I probably wouldn't get one of the drinky ones, but eh. Now, you know what? This is happy hour anytime. I probably would get that, but that should be on a shirt. It should not be a damn sticker. Selling products and memes on Redbubble about it and really treating this whole thing like a fucking farce. There are people who- No one's treating it like a farce. People are treating Amber Heard like, a, she, like she's a farce. Like her whole defense is a farce. Ain't nobody making fun of Johnny. Well, except for, well, Amber Heard stands, of course. And for the, and the leeches who lived off his dime for that, uh, that period of time. But yeah, no one else. Nobody's making fun of the, uh, the victim. See, that's the thing. You think Amber Heard's a victim and you think people who are making fun of her are making fun of a victim. That's the thing. That's the only reason why you're like, you have all this faux outrage about this shit. Because you've already made up your mind about who, what the roles are without any fucking evidence uh, whatsoever, so. who are taking her rape testimony and turning it into sexy TikToks. Uh, yeah, I don't care because she wasn't actually fucking raped. How can you listen to her fucking testimony about that and be like, yeah, she was raped. That's real. That's a real thing. I didn't notice that there was big hunks of, of glass in my vagina. I just didn't notice. I didn't notice I was raped. This is weird. It's not like she passed out drunk and woke up with her pants halfway off her fucking ass and didn't realize until later after she got some kind of exam or whatever, or she, until she looked at herself and, and realized she was raped. No, she said she was con conscious the whole time, like she was grabbed by Johnny and fucking raped and said, oh, I didn't really feel nothing. <laughs> I didn't really realize it. Bedroom bunny, nah, Amber's legal team is treating this like a farce, they asked. Um, on John, they went, asked one of Johnny's lawyers to stand and hoped he would break uh, attorney client privilege. And plus, not to mention one dude uh, objecting to his own fucking question. That's already, that, that was, oh, that was like, uh, that's when you know, uh, that's when you knew she got those damn lawyers off wish. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Charlie Bruce, and then she made coffee the next day. Yeah, that's what, you didn't go to the hospital for that? I'm pretty sure. That's the moment, that's usually the moment during the domestic abuse altercation where you go to the fucking hospital. Because I'm pretty sure if glass is left in your vagina, um, it can get a, in there a little bit more, a little bit further and fuck you up. Like Jesus Christ. How can you listen to that and say that she was actually raped? What is wrong with you?
Oh, cheerleader Jim J. J. Missed you. I haven't caught you in so long. I adore you. Thank you. Who are recreating her testimony with cats and saying that her rape testimony sounds hot. It doesn't sound hot. It sounds like bullshit. The ones who say it sounds like sounds hot, of course, like it's the same chicks who are always like joking around about, oh, you know, God, oh, I wish a guy would choke me. I'm like, you know, that bullshit. Like that's standard fare for any, anything. <laughs> but like, who gives a shit? Who cares? And honest because she wasn't actually abused. So who gives a fuck? You would have a point if she was actually abused, but she wasn't. If you would do that, the lack of compassion and depth and humanity. The lack of compassion and depth. <laughs> she didn't say that, but I thought it'd be funny if she actually did and made it more dramatic, made it more impactful. Lacking compassion and depth. <laughs> you're so lacking of compassion. Yeah, okay, oh yeah, you're so full of compassion because you don't believe facts. You must have speaks for itself. It's fucking disgusting and people should be embarrassed and ashamed for all time. And they're getting their stuff screen grabbed so it will live forever. You people are inhumane. Like, no. <laughs> She's so up her own ass. You people are inhumane. You make videos with cats. Making fun of a white woman who lies. Like, as, you know, I, I don't mean to make it racial. Like, no, well, actually I do. But uh, uh, I hate and I, I just hate to do it. But like, why <laughs> are you putting yourself on the line, your reputation as a YouTuber on the line for some white bitch who is a liar? <laughs> Imagine she would see. I think if she had been with a black dude, she would have been on. She would have seen right through Amber shit because she bases her support on people. Her and people like her base their base their support on identity politics. If she well, at, she, as a white woman, had accused someone, somebody like, I don't know, uh, like Dwayne Wade, like some famous black athlete or some famous black dude. She would have been, she would have been to totally against Amber Heard. 100 fucking percent. 100 fucking percent. I, 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 I fucking believe that wholeheartedly because like I said, this is all about image. It's all about uh, identity politics and shit with her. When would, for everyone else, it's about facts and what they see with their own fucking two eyes in that courtroom. Because even if you believe she is lying, she is discussing rape allegations. It's not a fucking joke. It's no, it is. You can make a joke about anything. Comedy, bitch. <laughs> Comedy, bitch. It's disgusting. It is every stereotype. Oh, and, and what, if one thing, what do you got to say about SNL making jokes about it? I mean, I know they weren't funny, <laughs> but still. What you got to say about that? Hold on. Um, this video came out, what, May 11th? When did that SNL sketch come out? Because uh -huh. it could have been before. It could, no, this could have been after she came out with this video. Six days ago. Oh, yeah, that was the 15th. Never mind. But see, now that SNL has made jokes about it, what, you, what the fuck you got to say now? What you got to say about that now, like... You have a mainstream sketch show that's mainly popular with people with your fucking views, uh, making fun of the show, making fun of it now. Now, like to be fair, those jokes are tame as hell <laughs> and really bad. But still, what you got to say about that? And I noticed looking at her channel, she hasn't made a fucking video since this one, ten days ago. <laughs> Uh, I hope her next video is like, oh, you know, I'm sorry for that last video, guys. <laughs> type about true crime womanhood I've ever seen come alive. You know, there are people I legitimately hate and have done harm to me, and I would not do this to them. <laughs> oh, you're such a little soldier. You're such an angel. Oh, I wouldn't make a TikTok about someone I hate. <laughs> Get fucked! I mean, I would spread uh, false allegations about a guy trying to fight for his life against his bitch who's trying to ruin his, uh, but I wouldn't make TikToks about people I hate. That's just wrong. <laughs> it's disgusting. 
<laughs> also, learn how to edit out your little, like, quirks and shit. Like, <laughs> like, what the fuck? Is that for dramatic effect? I'm trying to be calm. What I want to say- I'm trying to, I'm trying to be calm! I'm trying to be calm. TikTok is- oh, uh, uh, Like, TikTok has been, uh, what about all the other times TikTok has had- like 14 year olds getting their chests removed and like 14 year old girls getting their chest removed and shit. You didn't have shit to say then, but TikTok is a cesspool now that people don't believe all women. Like get the fuck out of here. Most importantly is that this case has highlighted my biggest issue and anxiety concerning the spike in true crime content that we've been seeing made and who is making it. Overwhelmingly, the people making this stuff are white privileged women and because so- <laughs> Because the woman who accused Johnny Depp falsely accused Johnny Depp of rape, of rape and, uh, and sexual and, uh, and uh, domestic abuse is not a privileged white woman. The fuck? These, <laughs> these are all privileged white women who like dick. I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> How much of true crime is about discussing harm against other white women and girls, despite statistically speaking, that is not accurate to who is the most at risk of being harmed and it has elevated this concept of trusting your so okay so people when white women like the true crime stuff true crime videos and all this shit mostly show white women being victimized so therefore wait what the fuck was her point <laughs> i don't even understand her point that we've been seeing made and who is making it. Overwhelmingly, the people making this stuff are white, privileged women, and because so much of true crime is about discussing harm against other white women and girls, despite statistically speaking, that is not accurate to who is the most at risk of being harmed. Even she is confused by what the fuck she's saying. She can't even get the whole thing out. Uh, he, uh, some accused and uh, even though that some people in Hooter do and Sabal Fowl, <laughs> she can't even get the shit out. Ar Ar Arturo Vegas, $5 super chat. Here to support my favorite YouTuber. Keep stating facts, Jay. Uh, uh, Kaiserin 20, I think this is. So you're making the case uh, about POC women. I think she is, but like, I just can't, I can't grasp what the fuck she's saying right here. I think you should have scripted this. And it has elevated this concept of trusting your gut and not a lot of discussion of critical fucking thinking. So that's what we're gonna- We've been watching this fucking case, you dumb bitch, you dizzy bitch. <laughs> we're, I'm trusting my gut, yeah, uh, no. We've been watching this court case. We've been watching her behavior. We've been watching the the evidence or lack thereof that she is presenting. And we're not impressed. <laughs> we're not in fucking impressed. Nobody's impressed. Nobody's buying this shit. Nobody's fucking buying this shit. I got into today, sort of the aftermath of all of that content and how it plays into this theater of true crime. Now, let me start off by saying I have made a video about true crime. I enjoy true crime. I listen to a lot of true crime podcasts. I listen to- I don't like the fact that white women are being killed. <laughs> not because I like, I, not because I like feel bad about white, white women being killed. It's because like, oh bitch, like really? Taking the spotlight, spotlight of a black woman who's been being killed? Maybe you should have tried not being killed so a POC woman who has been killed can get the fucking spotlight, bitch. <laughs> How dare you be in the wrong place in the wrong time and get yourself killed? <laughs> My sisters need representation too. More black women need to die for representation. <laughs> I hope y'all really appreciate me watching this because I'm already just like done with this bitch, her crazy eyes and her fidgetiness. Ugh. My favorite murder for a long time when it started, I've listened to some sort of crime junkies, you know, the big ones. I understand the appeal. I always have. I grew up watching. But like, I grew up, I grew up surrounded by true crime. <laughs> Uh, I have a true crime friend. White women around me have died. Um, so I, <laughs> I 
<laughs> white women around me have died. I have dead white friends. I understand. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oof. Thank you. Snapped. It has always been popular amongst women, and when well done and by people who care, it can be something that has a lot of journalistic merit. It can be very interesting and reveal issues within our legal system that need to be fixed. It has also become a place where you can make profit off it on places like YouTube and for a way for people to just give very bad critical thinking analysis on cases, to perpetuate a lot of junk science, mis information and a lot of really and a lot of really garbage analysis that lacks introspection about the larger issues surrounding crime for example we talk a lot about missing white women uh, hey, hey, i'm already compelled to turn off this fucking video Just wanted to cap that right quick. Hang on a second. <laughs> hey, remember when Batwoman tackled this issue? This shows you how much fucking validity it has. Uh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Missing white woman. How the fuck are you going to lecture about people prioritizing white female victims while you are prioritizing a white female victim? Are you fucking stupid? <laughs> Did you think this hurt at all? <sighs> Did you not fucking pick out the irony of this shit? Honestly. Oh, fuck, I'm already irritated. Like, I'm already done. <laughs> I wasn't that irritated with the other chick because she was just, like, she was infuriating, but she was, like, mostly entertaining. The, the accent really got me some mileage. Uh, Oogly Boogly, 7099 Super Chat. She lives in the land of we're looking for a girl, white skin, blue eyes. <laughs> Anything else? No. Uh, Princess Smiley Face, she didn't know what she was talking about. Point blank and simple. Lamau's <laughs> nice singing Jay Long. That was that was that wasn't singing, that was suffering. <laughs> Maddie, is she defending Amber Heard or not? I'm confused. I don't know. She yeah. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she's uh not if it, like but like why the fuck? Like, I don't like when white women get more shine than our women of color who get abused. But then she's like, I support Amber Heard. Huh? You confused, bitch. <laughs> you are very confused. syndrome, a term defined as, quote, white women occupying a privileged role as violent crime victims in news media. <laughs> Imagine thinking you have privilege in death, <laughs> in fucking death. You died and got more attention than me. You are so privileged. <laughs> Why the fuck is this happening? You died and the news media Gave you more attention. You have so much privilege right now. Even though you suffered for hours, were raped with glass bottles and bled out horribly, were like, she was tortured, like, were tortured, like, en endlessly tortured. You are, you, pr you privileged bitch. <laughs> But yet she's supporting Amber Heard though, right? That, Cause that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, 
uh, autistic screeching, privileged to be dead because whiteness, oh my fucking god. Woody Woodchipper raped and murder privilege. <laughs> Reporting. People have tried to combat that by bringing up crimes against women of color, but what they don't do is look at how missing white women's syndrome leads to actual legislation issues. For example, Amber Alerts, which was named after a young girl named Amber Renee Hagerman, a girl who was abducted while riding a bike with her brother. A neighbor witnessed the abduction, called 911, and then four days later she was found murdered, and her case remains unsolved as of today about Amber Alerts, which basically these alerts that go off on your phone to tell you when a child has been- Yeah, get to the fucking point. Tell me how this is, how white people are evil because of this, if please. If you look at statistics about Amber Alerts, they will say that since the inception of the Amber Alerts, there have been 925 children recovered safely, which is a statistic that really says, oh, this is working. But with Timothy Griffin, assistant professor of criminal justice at the University of Nevada, Reno, he and his team did research that concluded that in the 275 Amber Alerts between January 2003 and March 2006, in 80% of the cases, the child was taken by a relative or an acquaintance. Only 20% was of the child being taken by a stranger or a slight acquaintance. And the thing is that Amber Alerts are built for stranger danger. And strangers are the least likely to actually perpetuate violent crime or kidnap somebody. It is usually parents involved in a custody battle. As Griffin put it, in a sense, they are crime control theater for our society. They enable public officials to make it look like they are solving a problem, which in reality probably can't be solved. And that is the root of sort of the issue with how true crime can can take this kind of like girl boss mentality and ruin it. It's the, the crime control theater. This idea that something is being. Oh. Okay, but the research says that people are, but they still, when kids are missing, they still ask the fucking parents. Like, where the fuck were you at this and this and this point in time? They still investigate. And like, so they can come to the conclusion that it probably was. Uh, a family member, you know that, right? You know, they just don't, oh, well, we gotta go out and look away from the parents to find this kid. Uh. Being done, even if nothing actually is. The sex offender registries. Um, Robot Chicken 670, 499 Super Chat. What does this have to do with anything? I'm still waiting for that. <laughs> Major Chris, final super chat. I totally needed this since I had a bit of crap, a bit of crappy, ugh, a bit of a crappy day at work. Nothing like laughing at the stupidity of AH supporters who try to defend her badly. Are another example about this. We've watched so much Law and Order SVU that we have been teaching a population that there are rapists and child molesters around every corner, and that it's important for us to have all this information publicized and readily available. However, research has shown over twenty-five years of research that these policies do not reduce sexual or non-sexual recidivism at all. There's been no reduction. Non-sexism. And that is because most people who are sexually assaulted are done so by people who was close to them, not a stranger. Registries don't protect people from that. And the issue is also that it depends on what- But you act like people registry. don't arrest rapists who are close to people? Registries don't work because it's a family member who usually does it, but you know that all you, have, you, all you have to do is report it and they will arrest the motherfucker. And if they do eventually get out of uh, prison, you put them on a registry. What's your fucking point here? What's your point? Registry <laughs> four. At least 12 states require sexual offender registration for public- I'm urination. fast forwarding it because you have no real points. If she doesn't make a good, like, if she doesn't circle back to the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard thing, I swear to fucking Christ, I am uh, just gonna go straight to the articles, which I should, because it's already at like 11.30. Reaction. We don't challenge it because we want to still have it. We want to still have that feeling. Like I know the depth of somebody's goodness because I got it in here. And that is an illusion. That is an illusion. Dogs have that instinct, babies do. I don't know what happens after three, year, three years old, but then it's kaput. All those fuck 
Yeah, um, that's a really red, that's a red flag. And, and honestly, if uh, you can't tell who's a good person and who's not, who's a bad person, then you shouldn't be fucking talking either. Why are they like, oh, but see, she, you see, she's actually a good person. And she still has that instinct. She, instinct. She's special. She's fucking special, guys. But politeness, all those things told you to do because it gives this idea that to be alert, to be aware, to be safe is all on you. And that if you were more assertive, that would protect you from crime. That's already a very problematic mentality to have. But when you put it on a public- Uh, yeah, so women, okay. So we tell men not to rape, blah, 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 blah. I thought we were done with this years ago. Sphere, where you have people who are just doing this on TikTok, doing it on YouTube, and being sold and commodified everywhere, you are not asking anyone to interrogate themselves. You're just asking them to feed more into their biases and initial reactions, and those are usually wrong. To me, the- And remember, she doesn't have biases. <laughs> she does not have biases, guys. She is completely unbiased. The utter circus of the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial is a perfect encapsulation of all of those issues coming into play. Because without the benefit of hindsight, without the benefit of several documentaries or episodes from your wrong about illustrating the issue. Like hindsight, I thought you said people couldn't tell the difference between good and evil people. <laughs> Make up your fucking mind. People just can't tell the difference between good and evil people, but I think Amber Heard's a good person. <laughs> Oh, whatever, bitch. With how media has handled the case, no one seems to actually be able to critically research and discuss this trial because they are so caught up and want to be part of a narrative. Honestly, you only have like a few fucking articles listed here. Sources in like myth one, and then you link a tweet and a fucking YouTube video. Huffington Post, CNN, oh God, bustle. This isn't going to be good. This is going to be torture. Aaron, I mean, it already has part been, of but this Jesus. day-to-day live action of court trial. And even though Amber is a white woman, but the theater of justice, the theater of true crime is to tell the tragic stories of good, clean, dead women. Not- Oh, so, oh, I, I get it. Uh, because she's not dead, that's why people are making fun of her. That's, people are against Amber, not because she's wrong, not because she has faulty evidence, not because she has no evidence, not because she has been proven to be fucking deranged this entire fucking time. No, it's because she's not dead. <laughs> we only love white women when they're dead. That needs to change. Even though I just fucking criticized the fact that we prioritize dead white women. flawed, messy women who still need help and grace. Those women are criminalized because if she can breathe, she can lie. This is the same logic from the other fucking video we watched. Jesus Christ. It's the same circle jerk bullshit. She's, she's neurodivergent and she's bisexual. She's a woman. Um, and that means they just hate, they hate her cause they ain't her, bitch. <laughs> They want her to be fucking dead. <laughs> They're discriminating against her. Oh, Jesus Christ. Girl, no. Why? <laughs> and therefore we can doubt her and therefore we cannot really believe her because how can we ever really know? We know that women in jail are most likely to come into with a history of abuse, trauma, and mental health conditions. 86% of women in jail have experienced sexual violence. 77% have experienced some intimate partner violence. Does that wipe away the crime they committed? Because um, nine times out of 10 men are put in fucking jail in domestic uh, assault situations, regardless of who hit who. Doesn't matter if she just, she only hit him. He, they send his, they'll send his ass to jail quicker than, quicker. <laughs> they, the, by default, they send the man to jail when there's a domestic uh, uh, assault call. They don't send women to prison for fucking nothing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, autistic screeching mental illness explains horrific shit, but does not excuse it. Thank you. Barbara Baker, most uh, male serial killers were sexually abused and neglected. Yeah, I, yeah. So yeah, Barbara. So I guess that means we need to sympathize with them and really question why do people put so many white male um uh, why do we why does society put so many white male serial killers in jail? Isn't it because they're trying to criminalize neurodivergent people? <laughs> Like you think, like I'm making a joke, but there are people who actually fucking believe this. Where are, where are the laws to help them? Where are the resources to address them? What crimes do they commit? You you just going by fucking statistics. Well, they, they suffered sexual violence, so therefore they are innocent and they should be let out of jail? What the fuck are you talking about? Their needs. All right. They're criminals, so we don't give a fuck. They don't matter. We don't waste time per- you, where, where's your sympathy for fucking male, male criminals with the same kind of background who suffered uh, sexual abuse and therefore somehow just aren't responsible for their actions? Where, where's your sympathy for them? But no, it's just women. I, remember, guys, I'm not biased. I'm not defending Amber Heard because she's a woman, even though I'm using statistics uh, only from female criminals. <laughs> and I'm only talking about the female centri cent centricity <laughs> of it all. <sighs> protecting poor women why would we empower them to have other options in life why would we have empathy for how they're why the fuck would you think that would stop crime why the fuck would you think that would stop people from killing people and raping people and shit well and a lot of women are in jail for like killing their children i guess we gotta give sympathy to them too trauma and abuse impacted them we have to keep incarcerating people to validate all the hang on a second esteban salinas 499 super chat i came in what i missed by the way did you see the whole she hulk trailer i saw the she hulk trailer i talk about that in the beginning of the stream somewhere so you got to rewind it because i'm not talking about that shit again early brewster race had nothing to do with this case and yet here we go again Uh, Faye, men don't go to jail straight away. Do you know personally of any man who's been in jail for abusing uh, women and children? Uh, yeah, plenty. What the fuck? I see we have an Amber Heard supporter in the chat. Jesus Christ. The legislation that we're passing to prove that we are doing something because the theater needs to know that we are arresting people. The theater needs to know that we, that we will disregard individuals. Yeah, we're just, we're, yeah, we're just, uh, Random, yeah, yeah, because cops just, yeah, they just lock women up for no reason. To they do that to women, women. Okay. In these systems to help the collective feel good. It shows at the very moment that things they just arrest people for crimes to make people feel good. What kind of fucking de delusion are you on? The fuck are you doing? First, she goes to like white woman, uh, missing white woman syndrome. First, she goes to that. And now we're into, oh, well, when women, a lot of women in prison suffer from sexual violence, though. We should just let them out of prison. There should be no prisons. <laughs> you should let them out. I'm complicated, become gray. The moment it requires you as the audience, as the consumer of the genre of true crime, to really unpack a popular narrative, you're not doing that because to do so would have to have you deal with how you see the world. It should make you question how in a situation where we are again talking about domestic violence accusations in a defamation trial, that people are afraid of being doxxed by posting links that discuss statistics and facts about the case or pointing out things that don't make sense. You should- I mean, statistics and facts about domestic violence that have nothing to do with what the fuck, what the fuck we're what the case is about. Um, men 
abuse women more. So you're wrong about Johnny Depp. <laughs> that's not fucking like, that's not a gotcha. Why the fuck do you think that is? It'd be suspicious that things like body language analysis is being used in a serious way because I don't know how many. Yeah. So ways to tell you that body language analysis is junk science and that it is pseudoscience is what okay where's the link for this do you have a link for this and is it from a place that isn't fucking variety oh uh, why didn't you why didn't you fucking list these jesus christ like why didn't you say oh this is about this this is about this this is about this this is about this but body language stuff is pseudoscience, but like, that's just YouTube videos. That's not being used in court, bitch. So what's your point? Body language is pseudoscience. Yeah, because no, you can't tell people are, are nervous and anxious from just looking at their body language. That's pseudoscience. That's phony. <laughs> oh shit. We got bots. Ugh, of course I can't get at them. Okay, I'm gonna need one of my uh one of my moderators to get at these motherfuckers. Uh Ashley, I'm dipping out, Jay. She's sickeningly R-worded. Good luck on the stream. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Okay, okay, evil hero diamond cat got him. But like, yeah, uh looking at someone and noticing that they're stressed or they're anxious or whatever. Yeah, that's pseudoscience. That's not real. Body language isn't real. <laughs> Body language isn't real. Oh, um, oh, that's a good fucking point. Who said that? Somebody said, hold on. Barbara Baker like Kavanaugh. Yeah, because everybody was going off on Kavanaugh's uh, Brett Kavanaugh's uh, body language. So like all those videos, you're gonna, those need to be debunked too, right? Or are we just focusing on the Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial because you just lo seem to love to be simping for white women. <laughs> you seem to love me simping for him. So uh, yeah, I guess only Amber Heard is like, the, uh, pseudo, uh, body language ex expertise is only pseudoscience when it has something to do with white women being, uh, you know, lying to courts, right? not scientific and that it is crap and that everyone's body language is different some people look directly at you when they lie some people don't like some cultures some people barely blink when they make points and and uh pace uh, and like and um some people like barely uh blink their eyes when they make a point and they're always like <laughs> moving back and forth in the chair because they're trying to fake uh emotion so they can pander to their shitty audience just don't even believe in doing eye contact as a sign of disrespect it is unscientific it is dumb it is the kind of thing that gets people incarcerated for life no it doesn't <laughs> does anybody know of a fucking case where a body language expert puts someone in prison like they're a fucking a psychic or some shit what the fuck uh and you know this is a defamation trial not a criminal trial right she can't be put in jail because TikTokers are saying that her body language is off. You, you fucking psycho. Dog mechanic, most body language expert people won't claim that reading body language is a perfect science. It tends to work in general, but of course there are variables. Maddie, not looking me in the eye, not looking me in the eyes, jail. <laughs> uh, Attila the Hun, Attila the Hunet. Uh, we learn social skills with body language as babies. Yeah, like, I don't think she knows that. She's kind of stupid. <clears throat> Molly J, she's justifying Amber's bad acting. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. 
Like when people said she's clearly acting when she is, like she fucking is. People even like, um, I don't know if it started out as a TikTok, but I found a video on YouTube that basically compares her performance in court to her performance in Zombieland, and it's damn near identical. Like she's acting. <laughs> because yeah, real emotions are a lot different from someone acting, but the acting and her real emotions are nearly identical. It's hilarious. Stop being foolish. These have real life consequences. No, they don't. <laughs> so yeah, someone on TikTok said she was acting and now Amber Heard's in jail. Because <laughs> that's just facts. You are the jury of people's peers. You have to be better at thinking than that. There was a we sent people to jail just by being on TikTok. Big issue with relying on that sort of behavioral analysis. The real science is, it's baloney. And her fucking source is a clip from J John Oliver? You've got nothing better than this? It doesn't work. The accuracy is like flipping a coin. And let me just say this, and I hate that we- Wow, you source John fucking Oliver. Like, look. I kind of expected it, but still, it's like, when you see it, it's like, God damn. I had low expectations of you already, but Jesus Christ. Ah, woo. A slithy clown, 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 clown. <laughs> Press alpha, my dog stepped on a B. <laughs> We have to say this, but Amber Heard is not someone who has stance, which is why even though it was a good piece, I really don't like Rolling Stone writing that thing about how both of their fans are crazy because Amber Heard's supporters, because it's not even fans. I'm not a fan of her in any big way. I liked her as Mira, but I believe- Of course you fucking did. Of course you liked her acting. That's why you liked her acting in the fucking courtroom, bitch. <laughs> is nearly identical. So of course you associate her acting in films with her acting on the, on the stand. And I'm pretty sure someone like you just loves superhero films and associates everything with them. So you can't fucking tell the difference between someone acting and someone pandering to your stupid ass. The only thing is Amber Heard is actually doing is actually doing that. You can't, like, you can't tell the difference between someone act, sorry, let me rephrase this. Like you can't tell the difference between someone acting and someone actually having genuine emotion. Because to you, someone in a fucking superhero film is expressing genuine emotion. Thomas Fenton, $2 super chat, damn, girl props for the three hour hustle, bless you. Yeah, technically um, I'm supposed to be up and out of here. I think I might cut this video short. <laughs> I think I might just cut this video short and like cover it the rest of it later because it's going on kind of long and I want to get, get to these articles because like I advertised in my thumbnail that I was going to talk about these these articles and I'm just I'm already running out of fucking time I'm running out leave her because of the evidence not because she gives me any even fans I'm not a fan of her in any big way I liked her as Mira but and that's enough for you to fucking simp for this bitch I hate to say it, but like, we're so entrenched in this superhero fucking, um, at, like, climate that you, that is enough for you to defend this bitch. I liked her as Mira. Like, I'm not simping for her. Like, yeah, that's enough for me to think that you're an idiot and, and, uh, simping for her. That you got your nose so far up her ass. That she was good in a superhero movie you liked once. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. You have no fucking idea how clueless a lot of superhero movie fans are. I believe her because of the evidence, not because she gives me any sort of endorphins as an actress. Like, that's ridiculous. You said you liked her in the movie. What you talking, now you're contradicting yourself. Because there is no evidence. What evidence do you have? Please enlighten me. What evidence do you have? Yes. The only real attachment I had to her before she was an Aquaman was that she was an openly bisexual woman in the industry and I thought that was cool. And also- <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on. Rewind. We're gonna rewind that whole thing because you're so full of shit. Not because she gives, but I believe her because of the evidence, not because she gives me any sort of endorphins as an actress. Like, that's ridiculous.
The only real attachment I had to her before she was an Aquaman was that she was an openly bisexual woman in the industry. And I thought that was cool. Yeah, there you go. Boom. She was an Aquaman and she's bisexual. Boom. Like, like boom, boom. And she's a woman. Like the trifecta of twatty social justice warriors. That's all that you need. You were in a superhero movie. Oh my God. She was in a superhero movie and Johnny Depp wasn't. There you go. That's all the evidence you need. And he's not bisexual and he's a male. Like, I mean, come on. He's trash by, <laughs> by that metric. Come on. And also I'm a woman of color. I'm a black woman. I have no investment. We can tell, we can tell by looking at you, sweetie. And treating white womanhood like it's some sacred thing. But y'all are white too, for the most part. And y'all keep talking out of your ass about- For the most part, get the fuck out of her. No one thinks Amber Heard is innocent. Black, white, like I remember that montage from the first video we watched? People from all walks of life, political views, colors, Ain't nobody, ain't no one fucking demographic de demonizing this bitch. And you'd think that the fact that white women are being objective and judging another white woman and calling out her bullshit would be enough for you to think, holy shit, maybe this racial thing is way more nuanced than I thought it was. Maybe this race hustling bullshit I do is like, it's just it's like what it is, bullshit. Maybe. <laughs> But no, you're not a person who thinks with nuance. You do not think with nuance at all. Uh, you look at 499 Super Chat, what evidence? And when I looked at her links, they weren't enough to prove she was abused. And if, and if there is evidence, then where the fuck is it in court? Exactly. Oh, snakes, bitch acts like a far left white woman. True, true. <laughs> I am yeah, true. Hmm. Tyler Castor, she wants to project so hard. Uh, she wants to project project onto ha Amber so hard right now. Yeah, it's all it is. It's just fucking projection. She's cool because she's bisexual. Like already that invalidates you. You shouldn't think someone's cool just because they're bisexual. See, now all of a sudden, now I'm thinking you are very superficial and aren't thinking it objectively at all. Sorry. I'll be damned if I, if I uh, fucking uh, defend someone on the sole basis that they were good in a film or uh, because of their race, gender, fuck that. If you come with facts and you, def and you prove your case, then, then there you go. It's done. Come, up, come with those facts and then, then we can talk. Like the Megan Thee Stallion thing, I haven't been watching it too uh, closely. But if I had just like blindly fucking, if someone came to me with this and I just blindly fucking believe her just because she's a black woman like me, I would look fucking dumb right now because it just came out that uh, she was not shot in the foot by Tory Lanez. It's just, she stepped on glass and that's where she got her wound from in her foot. Imagine how fucking dumb I would look right now. Gary Thomas, $10 Super Chat. I like how all these AH defenders neglect to mention that she is Counter suing for a hundred million, despite the fact the most money she has earned as an actress is two million for Aquaman. Like, yeah, she doesn't want money, she doesn't want all this, but she is counter suing for a hundred million. Oh, well, Kai Fujimoto, I think, is going to bed. Good night, Kai Fujimoto. It's a sacred thing. But y'all are white too, for the most part, and y'all keep talking out of your ass about situations where you are supposed to know better. We should- What the fuck? <laughs> You're supposed to know better, bitch. <laughs> supposed to know better about what? Like even when uh, you're showing nuance as a white person and then you, credit, you call out a privileged white person on their bullshit, you're still a privileged white person. <laughs> you should know better. Know better about what? They know better that she, she they, know, they do know better. They know she, she a lying bitch. Know better right now. What is- The fact that you were simping for a white woman because she's bisexual and was in a fucking superhero movie. Like you look whiter than anybody. Like that is the whitest fucking thing. <laughs> you look whiter than any of these bitches right now. Like you kidding me? John Smith, five dollars super chat. This girl gives me Subaru Forester with the Hillary 2016 bumper sticker vibes. Your streams always make me laugh, Jay. Thank you. 
Um, mm, check please. Uh, white people should know better. Mm, that sounds a little bit racist. Bedroom Bunny, not only is she counter suing for 100 million, but her damages don't exist. She completed her contract as Mira, three movie appearances is still with L'Oreal, etc. She's lost nothing. Yeah, and, she, and then she gained a, a billion dollar baby because apparently that baby is, uh, the baby she has now is Elon Musk's baby. So yeah, she gonna have money up the ass for a long time. Seventh the Conqueror, Jay, I love you. Oh, thank you. Like, yeah, this girl is pretty damn white as far as I'm concerned. I'm sorry. <laughs> white, like, if you, like, I'm sorry. Like, these white chicks who are calling Amber Heard out I'm proud of you. I'm damn proud of you. Because <laughs> you'd think that most women, are, most white women at least, on TikTok would be defending her ass. But they're not. They are not. They're on it. They on it. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, bitches. <laughs> Point of all of these fucking documentaries. This see, but like, here's, see, here's the thing, though. She got left this white woman up her ass. They subscribe to her. She's got to pander to these bitches. Like you saw Lindsay Ellis in the damn comment section. You know, she gonna whoop you if you don't <laughs> say what? She go, oh, Lindsay Ellis gonna whoop me if I don't, if I don't simp for Amber Heard. And then want you making nothing about her shit because y'all don't know what you are talking about. You are just so willing to be like, oh, we made a mistake and then do the same shit over again when you don't like somebody. Pam Anderson is a messy ass person, but what happened to her was still horrible and people couldn't put two and two together then. But now after we didn't have because we, because we didn't have the Internet. And courts, uh, uh, like court sessions were in were in film, like a bunch, it was a bunch of factors. And what the hell is she talking about again? What Pamela Anderson, what happened to Pamela Anderson? The evidence, not because she gives me any sort of endorphins as an actress, like that's ridiculous. The only real attachment I had to her before she was an Aquaman was that she was an openly bisexual woman in the industry and I thought that was cool. And also I'm a woman of color. I'm a black woman. I have no investment in treating white womanhood like it's the sacred thing. But y'all are white too for the most part and y'all keep talking out of your ass about situations where you are supposed to know better. We should know better right now. What is the point of all of these fucking documentaries? This is why Pam Anderson didn't want you making nothing about her shit because y'all don't know what you are talking about. You are just so willing to be like, oh, we made a mistake and then do the same shit over again when you don't like somebody. Pam Anderson is a messy ass person, but what happened to her was still horrible and people couldn't put two and two together. She is not Amber Heard, bitch. What are you talking about? And actually like, yeah, okay. She had a sex tape leaked. Okay, fine. Not as bad as being allegedly like I'm. I'm. Let's assume what happened to uh, Amber Heard was correct, which it wasn't. But let's pretend it was for was for a minute. What? How is having a sex tape leaked in any way comparable to getting the shit kicked out of you, dragged ac across glass, raped, beaten repeatedly? How is that even comparable? <laughs> it's not comparable. Together then, but now after all of the trauma has passed and her career has been lambasted, now you can do it. And even when she says, I don't wanna do it in this format, I wanna tell my own story, it's like, eh, but this is done really well, so why does it even matter? And also to the people who are saying that Amber Heard is weaponizing white woman tears, please fuck off, because not only- <laughs> She loves white women, dude. Like, she loves them. She's in love with them. She's weaponizing white women to like, like, I don't like believe like racializing this shit, but that's the only time where I'm just like, yeah, go ahead and do you go ahead and say what you want to say about that. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Cause it's not like we don't jump to the defense immediately of some blonde white chick. Every time she says, not we, but like Hollywood and the media doesn't jump and other leftist white women don't jump to the fucking defense of some other leftist white woman who just, just says they're abused and with no proof whatsoever. But see, she doesn't have, seem to have a problem with that. She doesn't seem to have a problem that Lena Dunham, another bitch, uh, tried to, uh, like he didn't, she didn't say he, like she was raped or anything, but she tried to weaponize 
her status as like some fat, dumpy feminist bitch against this basketball player. Was it Lamar Odom Jr.? I think his name is. I don't know. It was some famous basketball player or some famous a black athlete. And he didn't want, and plus she, she was like spinning the story about how she gets so much black dick. Like she was, oh, I danced up against Michael, Michael B. Jordan. And I sat, I sat, I sat around this other ungrateful ass black dude who doesn't seem to, doesn't seem to like fat white women suddenly. And he didn't, he didn't look at me. He didn't acknowledge me. And he's a piece of shit. And she tried to demonize him. Because she knew people would be in her fucking corner. She knew people would be on her, on her in her fucking corner. She knew the people. Uh, she she knew the people she was rolling with. She knew what, how she she was pandering. She knew she knew. Like this whole stereotype that black men just go after pudgy fucking white women. That was the whole aura of that article or that uh not article but like it was just, I think it was a podcast she was in or some shit. But um, that was the whole aura of that. And she's entitled to black dick because she's a fat ass white woman. <laughs> and uh, she tried to demonize, like I say, a black sports star for not immediately falling for the stereotype and jumping on her ass. But see, to, to this chick, to this sister, that's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine for white women to go around falsely accusing people of shit because Oh, well, you white still, you white women who, who don't like Amber Heard or don't like Lena Dunham or don't like, um, that new one. What's her name? Uh, <laughs> who don't like, uh, the chick who's with Marilyn Manson, who don't like that other bitch. Like, oh, you, you should know better. You should stand up for your white sisters. <laughs> she loves white women, dude. Like it's, ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, um, 1,101 and one zero, A Amy Schumer. Yeah, that's another one, that's another one. Yeah, Evan Rachel Wood, that's her fucking name, whatever. But yeah, Amy Schumer, like whenever, like, <laughs> I wonder what she has to say about um the Megan the Stallion thing. I wonder if she actually, oh, I knew she was, that, that black bitch was lying the whole time. <laughs> She'd go off on some fucking racist tangent. <laughs> I knew that black bitch was lying. <laughs> Um, Arctic ice frost. They would do that with women. Race is irrelevant. But yeah, see, she's making it oddly racial. And that's why I'm making it racial. Because she is. She seems very dedicated to making you think, no, I'm not something for white women. I'm not. And if you have to keep saying that, you probably are. You're probably just saying. Bedroom Bunny, the real reason she's upset that white women aren't supporting Amber Heard is because it breaks her perception that race is only side with her own. Aha! That's another one. Good. That's, yeah, that's a good point, Bedroom Bunny. Absolutely. But it's also, I think she like low-key, she identifies with white women a lot more. I think that's what, I think that's another factor. Because like, she, she keeps saying, like, I, like, I'm not sipping for her. I'm not. <laughs> mm, aren't, you aren't? You aren't? Aren't you? Wait, is like, first of all, her discussing her alleged rape at the hands of her ex-husband, who is a white man, a white man. Johnny Depp is kind of a white man. I heard he's like partially, uh, what is it, Native American? He's kind of a white man. He's, he's mostly white. <laughs> it's not white woman tears. That is just a bastardization of that term. No, no, no. You can't fucking pick and choose when that's, when that's a thing. Oh, but it's against a white man. See, if they use their their powers for good instead of evil, <laughs> and we, see, when you falsely accuse a white man, that's for good because white men have a lot of privilege, and so fuck them. But if she did that against like a black man, see, I just didn't I say that earlier? I said that shit earlier. That if it was against a black, if she was doing this shit against a black man, she would be one hundred percent against Amber Heard, one hundred percent. But because it's against a white guy, she's perfectly cool with it. She's basically telling on herself right now. She's telling on herself right now.
she is totally telling on herself. And you know what? I think I'm going to stop here because I want to get to at least one article, like at least one <laughs> that I wanted to talk about. Like Jesus, I will, I, you know, I'm probably going to refer back to this at a later time when my hair is done, by the way, because Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm, I'm all fucked up <laughs> and I don't want to be on camera until my hair, uh, I don't want to be on camera again until my hair is done. But yeah, we're going to read an article because I'm, already, I'm, yeah, I'm done with this bitch anyway. My, my voice is giving out. Mm, we're going to go to the most, the most reprehensible one, like the most ridiculous one. Uh. And that's the one that says, why the, why the Depp Heard trial is much worse than you realize. Amber Heard is just the first target of a new extreme of a new extremist playbook. Now, um, I think they changed the title because when I first uh, got wind of this, it said something about how the Depp Heard trial is like a window into the alt-right or some shit. How, no, how Johnny Depp, John, support for Johnny Depp is a window into the alt, it is a, um, is a, a pathway to the alt-right, of course. Because it always is. Even though... Johnny Depp is staunchly liberal, and he said some dumbass liberal shit in the past, too. Even though he's the same kind of liberal fucking Hollywood jackass that you could probably, like, even though, still, is somehow, a, the, the support for him is somehow in a window, like a pathway to the alt-right. Somehow. <laughs> Bedroom Bunny ContraPoint says some dumb shit like that too. Actually, you know what? Before we get to this article, let's read, let's, let's go to that first. Her tweets. <laughs> Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? Okay, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit more though. Just a little bit. Y'all can really, yeah, there we go. Uh, Natalie, oh yeah, she was linking the, uh, she was linking the, our article that we're gonna read right now. And she says, Amber Heard vilification is already being used like Gamergate, a lore issue to funnel men into far right politics via witch hunting. <laughs> and then I responded with, I want to know what Quint Review saw in you besides himself. <laughs> Which I thought was pretty good. I thought it was pretty, a pretty decent, halfway decent burn. Because yeah, like, yeah, uh, um... I don't even know what Quentin Review saw in your dumb ass. Like, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see it. <laughs> I know he wanted to fuck you, but you know. <laughs> but Jesus, like, why? Why? Anyway, let's get to reading. I want to make sure y'all can see that. Oh, you can't see this. Oof. Okay, that's better. That's better. I think that's... See, on my OBS, it's a little, like pixelated, but I think if I went to uh, my actual, oh yeah, yeah, okay. I stretch out YouTube, I stretch out OBS a little bit and I can see it better now, okay. Anyway, let's read this bullshit. <laughs> Around the third or fourth time I logged onto Twitter to find Amber Heard is a psychopath, sorry, hashtag Amber Heard is a psychopath at the top of the trending list, I realized there was no longer any pretending that the Depp Heard defamation trial was not a terrible foreboding recollection, sorry, reflection of our culture's worst impulses. <laughs> oh God. The media has covered the degree to which the trial has served as a referendum on the Me Too movement and a siren call to domestic abusers. Oh, the narrative of the trial has been shaped in part by what appears to be, according to multiple researchers, an army of bots spreading rhetoric favorable to Depp. Okay, for one thing, there's always going to be bots every time. Like when Will Smith slapped Chris Rock, I'm pretty sure there were plenty of bots that were in favor of Chris Rock or were going with whatever opinion was popular because that's what bots do. They feed off of whatever is popular. So whoever is running the bots can achieve whatever agenda they want to achieve. I don't know what, what it is. It's usually, is, it's usually always about money. 
But yeah, but like, are we like, th but this is what we're doing now? We're going back to the Russian bot thing? <laughs> it's all bots! No one really, uh, no one really supports Johnny Depp! One researcher found more bots favorable to herd, but said most of the bots were from third party apps trying to capitalize on the trial. Okay, so you just, you, you just fucking ruined, you just ruined your point right there. Meanwhile, they, meanwhile, they found the highest pro debt bot was, uh, the, the, the highest pro debt bot, the, the highest pro debt bot post was shared nearly 20,000 times. The work of those bots has been further amplified by men's rights activists, which like they're around, but they're not prevalent like they used to be like years ago. Men's rights, like this is, oh my God, what fucking year is it? Where you're still, oh, no, men's rights activists are evil. Like what, how, what year is it? What fucking year is it? The part of the far right leaning extreme, extremist manosphere. <laughs> ah! They're just a bunch of, not, I wouldn't say incels, but they're just a bunch of like little dick energy motherfuckers. Who cares? Not all of them, but most of them. But like most of them are just like, like, like fresh and fit or someone like that. Like, is that was like, what? <laughs> uh, so, the far, far right leaning extremist manosphere. That seems to have decided uh, discrediting Amber Heard is the key to destroying every woman who accuses men of abuse or domestic uh, domestic violence. And yeah, and they're doing that with bots. Yeah, Fresh and Fit right now is like <laughs> using their hooker money to <laughs> to fire up a bunch of bots against Amber Heard because that that's what that that's what that that's what how that, that, that that's how that happens. Woody Woodchipper, Jack Murphy, enough said. Yeah, Jack Murphy, they're all behind it. They're all, it's all connected. It's all <laughs> a conspiracy. Conservative media outlets have also promoted a one-sided narrative of the case. Vice recently reported that Ben Shapiro's popular conservative news platform, The Daily Wire, has spent nearly $50,000 promoting ads about the trial on Instagram and Facebook. Who cares? Most of it... <laughs> Trashing Amber Heard, the presence of these bad actors has, if anything, only exacerbated the vitriol Heard has received within the mainstream. Oh, who cares? <laughs> They've spent 50000 promoting, like, she's getting vitriol. Like, yeah, she is. Very rightful vitriol. The fuck you talking about? Mr. SBD, I think that says, what is fresh and fit? Uh, you know what? Just search it. I'm not even going to fucking it. <laughs> more, more importantly, look up fresh and fit ABBA and preach. Yeah, I think that's a little better. That's, that's a better search. Trial memes almost universally, uh, weighted against herd have taken over the, every, have taken over every corner of the internet from TikTok to Twitch to Etsy. Even Saturday night live has lampooned would have been portrayed as the many excesses and absurdities of the trial testimony. And social media users have similar, similarly found the trial ripe for parody. Yeah, that's how, that's how that works. Popular subjects get parodied, whether it be by the media, um, social media, or uh, late night sketch shows. That's how, that, that's how that works. Are you surprised by this? Why are people acting like this shit? Oh, this is some phenomenon. <laughs> people are making fun of a popular topic? What? <laughs> On TikTok, for example, totally unrelated accounts seem to have given themselves over to full-time depth heard trial mockery to the point where the actual substance of the testimony seems completely irrelevant besides the need to mine the proceedings for entertainment. Uh, okay, so? How come you're not being substantive? How come you're not, how come you're not 100% simping for a, for a deceitful white woman? Why not? It's not fair. <laughs> sure, Amber Heard cried while on the stand, but did you see how ridiculous she looked while doing it? No, because they're saying, she didn't really look ridiculous. They're saying she was acting, which is ridiculous, <laughs> which can look ridiculous. But um, it's not, they're not laughing at her because she's crying, you dipshit. How much did her PR guy pay you to write this bullshit? Because honestly, to put it mildly, the surreal explosion of internet culture vilification of Herd feels, uh, disparating, disparating, 
Dispariting? Is that a real fucking word? Hang on. Dispriting. Dispriting. I've never heard of this shit. Hang on. Damn it. Oh, okay. It's an actual word. Uh, yeah, I can't do the pronunciation thing. Dispiriting. I was going to say dispiriting. Feels dispiriting and troubling. What made so many millions of people feel so justified in treating such a personal toxic relationship like popcorn fodder. The only reason you're saying it is because you think Amber Heard is, an, Amber Heard is a perfect little fucking church mouse. Get the fuck out of here. You wouldn't be saying this if it was, um, if they were making fun of Johnny Depp. If they are making fun of Johnny Depp, it would be, it would be all good. And I love how they say that this person toxic relationship. If for one thing, it's not a to- it's a toxic relationship technically, but you're making like the implication with this is that it was mutual. It was not. And I'm sorry, but someone beating your ass and treating you like shit, and you defend yourself by um, talking shit back to them, but not hitting them is not a toxic relationship. It's not a mutual toxic relationship. Get the fuck out of here. A sentient DLDL white turd tears. <laughs> uh, sleep paralysis at the wheel. It's a couple decades too late to be criticizing media's obsession with celebs personal shit. Yeah, like I said, this is just convenient shit. I bet you someone from Amber's PR team paid a motherfucker to write this shit. I wouldn't be surprised. I, Cause this is complete horror. And, and plus Vox, being Vox, being who they are. Yeah, of course they're gonna support the woman. Of course, they're going to support the woman. It's always, that's just the way it is. Grilled sushi, Fox, uh, angry, not enough people simping for Amber. Well, yeah, that's basically what it is. At what, at, at what point before the bot armies and men's rights activists poisoned the well of discourse, they did not poison anything. There's nothing poisonous about this fucking discourse, except the people who support Amber. Well, of discourse uh, around this trial could... A reasonable assessment of the evidence and facts have been made. Did that point ever exist? Like people are really like dumbfounded that a man could not be abusive. Like they're really like, they just don't fucking get it. They really don't. Most of the, most of the reporting on these memes has placed the blame for their sensationalist tone squarely on the evolution of fan fandom content creation. Uh, but recall that the white supremacist alt-right movement has a long history of memifying everything. What? This is your smoking gun. We think the white supremacists are behind it because they have a history of making memes. This is your smoking gun. They make memes and these are memes. So white supremacy. (laughs) Wow. What the fuck? And uh, CounterPoint co-signs this article. So if you love her, prepare not to. <laughs> white supremacists make meme and you make memes, so you a white supremacist. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Oh, that was a... But we're calling You write everything. Okay, but recall that the white supremacist alt-right movement has a long history of memifying, memifying everything they want to normalize and legitimize and keep in the forefront of your mind that the alt-right latched onto this case as its bulwark long before fandom and the internet at large did. Uh, what? When was this? Got any proof of that? Because I bet you you don't. By now, after years of political disinformation campaigns, we're used to social media's natural ability to contort reality. Rarely, however, has it been bent this far, this rapidly, for this many people in the service in service of something this vile. Yeah, defending a fucking victim of domestic violence is so vile. Again and again, over the course of this trial, basic human empathy seems to have completely flown out of the window. More than that, nuance feels impossible. And there are, and there doesn't seem to be room for even the the reality of the situation. You're gonna fucking point it out. You're just gonna say, uh, "Well, no one looks at the reality of the situation. What's the reality of the situation?" 
The contours of the abuse were well established before the 2018 opinion column Depp is, suing, uh, Depp is suing over it was published. The basic facts of the case have gotten their day in court once already, have been heard in a British court in 2020. People honestly fucking think that because, and by the way, because someone said in chat that the, I think the writer of the article was the son of the judge who fucking judged the whole thing which is, uh, should be a conflict of interest and should have disqualified him from even trying anything. But whatever. <laughs> whatever. And, oh, well, he lost the case. So would you say that if that was a woman? That's my question. Would you say that if Amber Heard had gone uh, to sue the son for defaming her, and she fucking lost, and then she tried again. There would be no, this would not be a discussion. This would not be a discussion. She, she, people would be go, girl bossing her. People would be talking about how she was wronged and how, um, and how, uh, and how tabloid media is toxic and all this shit. This is, that's what, that's the narrative that would have been pushed. But now it's against a guy, so it's fine. He lost the case, so that means he wasn't abused. He lost the case. That means she's not lying. That's that because that's what that yeah that's a barometer. Because a fucking tabloid newspaper is a barometer for truth. Get the fuck out of here. A British court in 2020 with the judge finding in Heard's favor, but the basic well-established facts do not seem to matter. What facts? To say what the facts are. They do not seem to matter to people who would normally care about facts, truth, and nuance. They do not seem to matter to the tabloid media gleefully reporting on every aspect of this. Hey, is tabloid media? What are you talking about, YouTubers? Because remember, tabloid media was the one demonizing Depp in the first place. So, you know, but let's just not, let's not, not focus on it. They do not seem to matter to the TikTok creators who seize every chance to parody a tearful herd turning her objectively harrowing Trial testimony into a farce of over the top fake weeping. It is fake weeping. Come on. The facts do not seem to matter to any of the people who have gleefully latched onto the image of her as a manipulative villain. She is as if she split her own lip, punched her own face and pulled out clumps of her own hair. Oh, you mean that whack ass picture of her supposed bald head? Oh, they agree chunks of my hair and it was bleeding and pussy meanwhile it's just like a spot on her head it's just like a spot on her head that's kind of thin which is naturally like of course white women have very thin hair so uh it's well it's thinner than black people's hair so like that spot was like she kind of like just took a spot on her head and just moved the hair apart and just hoped you would perceive it as a bald spot it was not a fucking, it's not a fucking ball spot. It wasn't bleeding. It wasn't pussy. Like she said it was. And she never got these little instances on camera either. Never got them on camera. She got plenty of Johnny Depp sleeping on camera. <laughs> Molly J or the broken nose that looked normal. Of course. Uh, lol idiots. Um, the split lip was fake unless it healed under 24 hours. Bruises were fake unless it healed under 24 hours. The chunks of hair, uh, Lamau, come on the fuck on. Well, the chunks of hair, that can always be replaced with, with, uh, with tracks, with, um, extensions, but still, like, but still, yeah, you still have a point. Like, you still, what you said was still valid, though. That picture of her supposed bald spot was not a bald spot. There's a full head of hair there. <laughs> so full of fucking shit. <clears throat> what we're witnessing here are the dramatically compounded effects of the internet researcher Alice Marwick's theory of morally motivated network harassment, which holds that a group of social media uh, users can justify any amount of, of, abuse, of abuse directed at a, at a target if they feel their cause is morally right. Oh, you mean how you're doing that with Johnny Depp? Me how you doing that with Johnny Depp? Mean how y'all did that with Kavanaugh? Me how how y'all mean how y'all did that with Trump and other assorted people? Me how y'all did that with fucking Bill Cosby? You mean those motherfuckers? Like it's still um it's still 
Um, we don't know for sure, like for 100% that Bill Cosby was guilty. I'm not even still sure, to be honest. But anyway, but like to the pe- to people who d- probably did not deserve, like did y'all, like, did y'all consider, like y'all na- now y'all want to make up buzzwords and shit for people who are wrongfully a lambasted in the media. Now y'all want to k- give a shit about that. Lol, idiot, Casey Anthony. Yes, yes, very innocent she is. Yeah, because she also won a case, remember? <laughs> she also won a case. That means she's innocent. <laughs> Gary Thomas, flat dollar super chat. It is fake crying. AH's acting coach even said that she had trouble crying on command. Why AH's lawyers thought that was a good testimony, I can't say. I feel like, I, it, I mean, it's almost like they're trying to sabotage her on purpose because they realize she's guilty. Like the more the trial goes on, the more, I bet you she miss, I, like, it's just speculation. But I have a feeling she mistreats them behind the scenes. Like she treats them like complete dog shit. And at some point they were like, you know what? Let's put in some unreliable, unreliable testimony. Let's waste people's fucking time. And let's really make her look like shit. I mean, despite all the damage she's already done to herself. Like all the, all the stupid crying and shit and all the acting. Let's put in some shit that people would clearly see as a huge red, red flag. Maddie, a lot of her own witnesses are not helping her case. I know they're just shit. It's so garbage. At this scale, looks like, and effectively is millions of people around the world, lining up to eagerly subject, subject one woman to untold amounts of abuse, public hum- humiliation, and violent rhetoric. Oh my God, it's like you don't have a fucking clue. It's like you don't have a fucking clue. Like people all around the world. Remember, they said all around the world. Now, if you're like me, and you know that the world is vast and has different races, creeds, ethnicities, and political views and religions, you know that it's probably not just white people or like racist white people who think she's guilty. (laughs) Just saying. (laughs) Incidentally, this is exactly what Johnny Depp wanted to happen to her. So even if she, uh, even if he loses the case, he still wins. Okay. He wanted people to know that she was a lying bitch, which she is. How can you look at all that evidence and be like, mm, no, he's guilty. Get the fuck out of here. To be clear, this isn't an easy story of good and evil. Well, that's how you're making it. To be clear, this isn't a story of good and evil. And then uh, go back up a paragraph. Where they're saying at this scale, it looks like and effectively is millions of people around the world uh, lining up to eagerly subject one woman to untold amount, uh, untold amounts of abuse, public humiliation and violent rhetoric. But this, to be clear, this isn't an easy story of good and evil. (laughs) All right. It's impossible. Like they're implying that Johnny Depp did exactly everything he fucking did. He did everything he's fucking accused of. And that we are such bullies. Everyone around the world is a bully who just wants to tear down this innocent, pure white woman. (laughs) This this innocent, pure, methodical white woman. We just want to tear her down. Get the fuck out of here. It's impossible to completely absolve Amber Heard who has her own alleged history of violence. Oh, oh. You give her a little bit of a bone. But like people shouldn't make fun of her though, even though she you admit she's violent. Which is it? Which is it? Or frame Depp as a monster incapable of kindness, charity, and the positive energy that amassed him millions of fans to begin with. I swear to God, Amber Heard re- wrote this shit. <laughs> he's wonderful. I love him. I want him back, and he's so generous, and I love him. But he's a piece of shit. <laughs> Yet you don't need to do either of those things to acknowledge that this is a case about the deeply unfunny topic of uh, intimate partner abuse and the major points of this trial have already been decided in one court of law. Yeah, you're damn right, because we're watching another court of law. (laughs) We're seeing another court of law decided. That's why. Oh, you've already been decided. I would that that accusation would have a lot more teeth. If the fucking court trial wasn't being filmed. <laughs> you just made up your mind without any evidence? Hmm? Hmm? 
You know, we got evidence, bitch. We got our own eyes and we got our own ears. Like we we see in in real time a bitch who is fucking mentally unstable up here lying her ass off. And with the worst legal defense I have ever seen. Like the legal defense, did Giant Depp set that up too? Is that his fault too? That her fucking lawyers are completely incompetent and can't seem to it seems to it seems to skip their mind to bring in the real evidence that absolves her of any wrongdoing? Even though there is none. The reason why they can't present any because there is none. But I'm going by Amber Heard logic. Because apparently she tried to fucking pass the buck on all her lawyers. Saying, oh, well, um, well, I don't have the evidence because the lawyers didn't give it to me. Like, I- I'm completely, inca- completely incapable of providing anything because the lawyers are supposed to do that. They're supposed to pull something out of their asses. I'm not supposed to bring, I'm not supposed to bring up anything. Uh, cold fusion waffles fun fact a lot of racists also think she's innocent or at least say they believe her yeah but uh, we, we don't those are good racists <laughs> the people racists who believe amber heard those are good racists well we can fuck with them according to vox <laughs> the judge at the first trial in 2020 found heard had proven 12 of the 14 allegations of abuse so far none of the trial testimony has substantially contradicted anything in heard in her in heard's original claim of being a domestic of violent survivor. Oh my God, you're an idiot. Like, yeah, they did. One of the fucking pictures was legitimately doctored to make her look more beat up. And not to mention the pictures of her. Oh yeah, she has pictures of her where she's brutally beaten. Like, like, so the fucking, um, the bruised pictures are complete bullshit. So apparently Johnny Depp seems to only punch her in two different places, either the lip or the eye, the lip or the eye, the lip or the eye. She never has, there was like one bruise in a different varying uh, uh, area and that was her fucking arm. That's it. That was one other bruise she had on her fucking arm and that's it. But other than that, she Johnny Depp seems to only hit her in the eye or in the lip. That's it. And there was a time where she, uh, he, she apparently was pinned down on her, uh, by her back, by his knee, but there were no bruises on her back and she wore a backless dress to an event looking happier than hell, which doesn't make any sense. Get the fuck out of here. A culture critic, Ella Dawson has a Twitter thread compiling, uh, compiling reporting on the myriad of ways in which this trial is not only destroying years of progress made against domestic abuse in the U S who gives a fuck, but also laying the groundwork for the, for a culture in which bots and bad actors harass, vilify and eviscerate all other prominent women who publicly name their abusers like gamer gates. Oh, but times tens of millions of participants and gleefully endorsed by people across American culture. Get fucked. Y'all had no fucking problem with vilifying, like I said, Ryan, Ryan, um, um, Ryan Kavanaugh. Y'all had no problem with vilifying Trump. (laughs) Y'all had no problem with that. The bots and shit that were sent out from that and falsely accusing him of sexual assault. Y'all had no problem with that. But y'all have a problem with it now? The white woman, so now y'all got a problem with it? Come on. That above all, above the TikTok cat memers mocking heard on Saturday Night Live dismissing the whole trial as for fun is what's absolutely jaw-dropping here. It's jaw-dropping. This trial, which amounts to a simple yes, no question. Yeah, yeah, right. And yes, is, is Amber Heard a domestic abuser? The answer is yes. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So it is down to a yes or no. Uh, a, it is down to a simple yes or no. Over whether her, over, or over whether heard had the right to call call herself a victim of domestic abuse in a single sentence from that 2018 opinion piece has somehow united far right misogynists with the middle of the road with middle of the road liberals. Oh my god, it's always the same two fucking people. You're a centrist or you're a white supremacist. There is no fucking there's no other nuance. There is no nuance to this. Either you're one person or you're another. And geeky pr- progressive fandom acolytes of Depp. I don't even know what the fuck that means. 
for people who have spent the last decade hashtagging believe women fighting online uh hara- fighting online harassment campaigns and especially resisting white male supremacy have over the course of this trial crawled into bed with the vilest kinds of internet internet refu- re- refuse at least 11% of whom don't actually exist according to the bot researcher 11% out of 100% <laughs> out of a, the 100% of dep supporters only 11% don't exist well possibly all because they really like captain jack sparrow okay that is so fucking reductive it's not because we think beating the shit out of your spouse is wrong it's just because we liked him in that Pirates of the Caribbean movie. It's not because he's been fighting this shit for six fucking years and people secretly in their heart of hearts knew it was bullshit the whole time. Amanda Smith. We're like seven years away from the Domino's meme, but the small Domino is Johnny Depp cast in Nightmare on Elm Street and the big Domino is President Madison. I don't even know what the fuck this means. <laughs> The sheer volume of this cultural takeover by Depp acolytes has created a seismic value shift to a degree that may be un- unalterable. Trial watchers seem to be welcoming misinformation about the trial while doing everything they can to, can to reject or undermine actual documented facts about the case. What are the facts? You aren't list saying anything. What are the fucking facts? Some of the arguments made against Amber Heard sound like QAnon level conspiracy rabbit holes. Oh, really? I mean... The one where she was, uh, she was fucking other people and had a whole bunch of motherfuckers up in his house talking about how she beat him. Like, yeah, those are QAnon conspiracies. It's not like, uh, that was documented or anything. Um, Amber Heard's trial outfits, for example, have somehow been a part of a sinister narrative in which Amber Heard is a manipulative, uh, manipulative abuser attempting to rattle and intimidate Depp by mimicking his own trial suits. Well, they do look rather similar to what he was wearing. Like, it may sound like a fucking conspiracy theory, but when you walk into a fucking trial with damn near the same, same suit and almost the exact same, um, tie pin that your fucking abuser wore, you expect people to ask some fucking questions. That's all I'm saying. Molly J. Elon had a bruise too. Yeah, he did. Oh God, another fucking bot. Uh, hang on, guys. Oh, you know, let me read this one thing though. Um. Okay, Bedroom Bunny, a symptom of BPD is mimicking. Amber has been doing that throughout this entire trial. Like, yeah, I didn't, like, at first I was like, that sounds kind of far-fetched, until I saw the fucking evidence of that shit. When she was wearing, like, the same kind of, like, tie pin he was wearing, that was, uh, that's when I was like, oh, shit, this bitch is great. Because that that's a little too, that's a little too close. All right, hold on a second, guys. Let me get rid of these goddamn bots. I'll be back in a second. We're gonna get back to it in a second. Fuck you, bots. Hmm. Okay, I think that bot did it. All right. Uh, let's hear one. You went on a little conspiracy rabbit hole. This trial has accomplished what our enraged, paranoid, ideological fringe could not. A complete dismantling of the ideological breakdown that has divided us politically. Oh, now y'all care about being divisive politically? Bitch, y'all been feeding into that shit for the past 
Y'all been feeding into that shit for the past six years. I don't know where the fuck you've been. The thing that we were contributing to the past six years, it's all coming to a head with this fucking Johnny Depp trial. Get the fuck out of here! And the general public acceptance of a narrative created and controlled by bad actors and far-right extremists. Like, prove that it's far-right. Prove that it's far-right extremists. You can't approve it. You can't prove it. You haven't provided any fucking proof that it's right-wing extremists. And I'm sorry, Ben Shapiro is... No. Not good enough. The Depp Heard trial has refined the Gamergate playbook in a way that will haunt us for years to come. It has proven to extremists that if you rally around the right beloved public figure or institution, blanket them in a protective sphere of outrage and misinformation and weaponize fandom culture already so prone to ideological radicalization and rational groupthink, you can successfully push whatever media narrative you want into the mainstream. There's no coming back from this. The actual trial verdict is all but irrelevant now. It's not just that Amber Heard will be forever an imperfect accuser who, whose own volatile history was used to help destroy a relevant, a relevatory movement in Me Too. It was already destroyed because it found, because people found out that one of the fucking founders of it or one of the main contributors to it was fucking a 17 year old. But so it was destroyed way before she came along. You're giving her way too much credit. Uh, it's that there will be other Amber Heards and many of them will be marginalized. Good. <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> we have far fewer resources to withstand this onslaught of hate. It's not a coincidence that this spectacle is playing out against a backdrop, blah, backdrop of perpetually escalating racist violence that the... Ra like, so, because... For one thing, racist violence rapidly escalating. What is this, 2016? Y'all said the same shit when Trump was president, like fucking stop. What race is violence? A backdrop of what race is violence? That's number one. Number two, so because there's rapid race, racial violence, that means that's why people don't believe Amber Heard. Like what? <laughs> oh, racist violence and the rapid erosion of decades of human rights for women, queer and trans people. The Depp Heard trial has just trained millions of people to discard their own empathy, their own rational judgment in exchange for or the gleeful mockery, rejection, and belittlement of a woman making herself vulnerable in public. <laughs> like how, yeah, like how Ryan Kavanaugh made himself vulnerable in public and then you fucking mocked him. You mocked him because he was losing his fucking, uh, he was, uh, his, he was, he was losing his reputation. Y'all fucking mocked him despite the fact that the, the bitch who was accusing him had no fucking proof whatsoever. That's, see, that's fine though. That's fine because he's a man. <laughs> if you don't think that that training will be weaponized against vulnerable targets, you haven't been paying attention. Who wrote this fucking garbage? Who wrote it? Oh, AJ Romano. Okay, that piece of shit. <laughs> and are his tweets or her tweets, whoever's tweets protected? Yeah. Her tweets are protected. Oh, they, she. Oh, she's a they, she. Jesus Christ. No wonder she's a fucking deadhead. Oh my God. Oh, are the bots back? Jesus Christ. Hang on a sec, guys. I'm about to end the stream, but I'm still going, I'm still going to get this little bitch. <laughs> yeah, the stream is almost like the stream is going to be over, but I'm still going to get him because I don't want your ass here. Jesus Christ, go the fuck away. Oh, did someone get, oh, uh, kill switch engage, got him. Okay, never mind. All right, guys, that is gonna be it for the night. I'm done. I think I'm gonna continue that other video we were watching. I think I'm gonna continue that on a later date. Uh, when my hair is finished, my hair is done. And uh, one of these days I'm gonna get that She-Hulk trailer reaction out for you guys. And I'm still working on a Doctor Strange 2 review. Kind of kind of uh like how I like what I did with uh, the Cruella review. It might be something like off the cuff like that. Well not off the cuff, it's gonna be a little more scripted because I got some shit to say and I need to organize it. But um yeah. So Doctor Strange 2 review, the She-Hulk trailer reaction. And of course, I'm gonna I'm gonna while I'm at my mom's crib, I'm gonna film like 
bulk film a bunch of of uh, Batwoman reactions. Probably just the rest of season three. Get it over with. So I can just slowly give them to my editor to get done. But yeah, that's... Uh, thanks for watching my jowls all day. I don't have my fucking usual um, a webcam. And it's not that high up to where I can like look at it directly. So yeah, you're just seeing nothing but jowls for the past four or five hours. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the super chats, the comments, well, wish, well wishes, the, uh, the points, and the little uh, the tidbits that help me out. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. And I'm going to go settle down for the night. Bye.